Hello, hello, and welcome in everyone. I am Sir Boggett, and this is the third episode of our series where we are playing Baldur's Gate 3 on honor mode for the first time. Uh, if you've tuned into the first two episodes, first and foremost, thank you so much for watching uh, our our playthroughs and our let's this Let's Play series. I, I really appreciate it. And I hope that you've enjoyed them. Uh, if you have watched those two, you'll know that episode two um, was a bit of a milder one. We had some technical difficulties and things like that to deal with. Hopefully, we won't have any in this episode, um, and we can have a nice smooth run today. Uh, if you haven't seen the other episodes, you can check them out in the playlist that I have made. I will all I can try to find a way to link those in the uh, description down below. Um, but otherwise, if you're just jumping in, that's totally fine too. We're going to roll right into it and uh, and get started. So let's see if I can quickly remember what we did in the last session. So the last session was mainly uh we actually not mainly but we i think we pretty much spent the whole episode in the emerald grove um we have saved arabella we've recruited will who is hunting down Karlek, so he's chilling in camp right now we actually have not spoken to him so it'd be good to uh head back to camp at some point to um to speak to him about that and we've we've spoken to Volo. We've uh, what else have we done? We've we've picked up a couple items here and there. And Gale has revealed his condition to us. Not the details of it, but he has um, told us that he needs magical items to feed on. So we have that knowledge in mind. We've also. Um, confronted Nettie, who poisoned us um, <laughs> in an attempt to cure us uh, of the tadpoles, which of course did not uh, work. Or she, well, we convinced her to give us the antidote. So we saved ourselves there. Um, and I can't really think of anything else that is like a key kind of moment here. The rest were kind of the regular... Um, Emerald Grove business, like business as usual kind of thing. So today's episode will hopefully be a little bit more exciting. Uh, <laughs> so we are going to, we have Elfira. So this is a Dark Urge run and just to, for what it's worth, we'll confirm our difficulty here. It is on honor mode. Um, and we are playing as a Dark Urge uh, custom character. So, if you know, you know. Um, <laughs> there will be an incident involving Alfira when you play the Dark Urge. Um, that being said, we are going to be a little bit cheeky and try to kind of avoid that situation. Uh, so, we will have to do something to Alfira. I'm not sure if I want to do that just yet. Uh, she does have 26 health and she's quite beefy, actually. Uh, basically, what we have to do involves doing quite a bit of damage to her. But we will not be killing her, don't worry. We will just be knocking her out. Uh, and trust me, I know it sounds bad, but it's actually the better outcome here. Um, I, think, I think we will speak to her and kind of get to know her a bit before we, um, before we go and kind of carry on with the rest of the, uh, the grove here. We have spoken to... Um, Arabella and her parents already after they've been reunited and all that. Oh yes, and we got scammed by Mattis. Well, unsuccess un unsuccessful on his part. Um, but yeah, let's go. Let's go say hi to Elfira and uh, and see what she's up to here. Um, the name of this squirrel is Spa, Spa and Corinna. Okay, so. Let's actually, uh, let's, let's, actually, let's speak to Spa and Corinna. It hurts! It hurts! Please, make it stop! Slow down, what's wrong? Can't you hear it? Her singing. It's awful. Terrible. <laughs> They're all so mean! 
And also, Alfero has disappeared or something, I think. Um, I'm just going to tell them to leave. It's They're all so mean. There's no nice option here. It is quite a racket. You could just spare your years by leaving. We can't. Our brains are melting. Karina, drag me away. The big one is right. We should go before it's too late. With my last strength, I will save us both. Away. Away. <laughs> I've not heard that dialogue before. That's uh, very dramatic. Very dramatic squirrels. Uh, I mean, so far we've only met Timber, who's like up here somewhere, and and they were quite dramatic as well. Um, all right, Alfira, hello. Dance upon the stars tonight. Smile and pain will fade away. Words of mine will change. No. Become. Ugh. Um. What's the tune you're singing? More like butchering. Don't know why I bother. Oh God. <laughs> the first one. Are you all right? No. I'm moments away from a grisly death the hands of this bloody song I can't nothing fits you know let me see if I can help mm. it can't hurt I have her I have an extra loot if you want hand me that loot we can perform together I'll start from the beginning We'll take it slow. Dance upon the stars tonight. Smile and pain will fade away. All right. Uh, let's play it along with her. <laughs> Just slip the loot into your pack. Um, so for those of you who don't... Oh, she has a trade as well. Um, sorry, let's get back on focus. Uh, let's get back on track here. But for those of you who don't know, um, if you do this bit... I don't know if you fail the rolls, um, if the rolls fail, if it will still work. But if you succeed the rolls, uh, you actually get the uh, you get you actually get the ability to play music um, after this if you succeed. So we're going to. It's a really really handy kind of um, utility to have because it can be used as a distraction for um, NPCs and stuff. So we will be wanting to get that. Uh, but before we do that, let me see what she has on hand. Oh no, did I mess that up? Okay, no. Okay, <laughs> I thought for a moment that cancelled the the options here. Uh, she actually doesn't have anything in her inventory for trade, so we'll just carry on with this then. Uh, let's play along with her. So we will try our best here. Uh, we need an 11. Come on, D4. Oh no! Okay, so that didn't come through. I am going to spend an inspiration point here, just because the inspiration points kept at 4 anyway, so we may as well. Okay, 11. Come on. Second try lucky, maybe? Nope. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> we'll go again, let me see. Third time's the charm, right? So, 11. Come on, I'm a charisma-based class. I should be able to do this. There we go. Oh! <laughs> Just to make up for the previous rolls. Words of mine will turn to ash When you pull the last light down Get a face. Um, all right, we're gonna do the second part here. We're gonna keep time with her. Oh boy. Okay, so it's lower this time. At least uh, we need a six here. Let's go. We, we needed that 11 earlier. That was hiding. Moon reminds me of your grace. All the love I can't repay. Rest and know that I will pray. Farewell, my dear old friend. Ah, my I'm sorry. What can you tell me about this place? <laughs> Option four. 
Oh, would you look at this grove? So lovely. So grove-like. <laughs> No, I'm not. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, let's go with option two. This, that song was beautiful, worthy of a few tears. <laughs> Thanks. That's the first time I've played since Lihala died. My teacher. She was playing her lute. We didn't hear the gnolls coming. Oh. There was so much blood. I can still smell it. Oh, bless. Um, let's see. I'll go with this one. Well, you've come up with a fine tribute to her. Lihala said that's why eulogies were important. They were for the living as well as the dead. I'd forgotten what it was like. That itch to perfect a song. Keep the loot. Please. You've earned it. The Weeping Dawn will be my gift to Lihala. I've a long way to go. But thank you. I, I needed this. Too sweet. Odiously sweet. The vomitous gall within despairs at your kindness. Dark Urge got no chill. <laughs> All right, well, okay, so you can see here now we have the um, action for perform. So we can actually um, essentially be like a bard-ish. Well, obviously we're not, but we can actually perform songs now. Uh, and I, I really do, like, I'm a sucker for the performance and, and music, like, playing in this game. So, um, yeah. Okay, let's, uh, let's loot. Astarian. Lockpick, please. Nice. Okay. Ah, okay, perfect. So since we don't actually have a bard in our party, we are going to uh, give this to Gale so that he can absorb it. Uh, okay, so let me... Oh, we did get a journal update for the Urge, so let me actually check that out. Uh, the Urge. Oh god, it's all um, it's all kind of resets here. Okay, Arabella is safe. We're gonna hide all the completed ones. The Wizard of Waterdeep. There you go. Gale told us he needed to consume the Wii from powerful magic, powerful magic items or great or a great catastrophe would occur. While he does not need them yet, it's best to be prepared. We should keep any suitable items close at hand. All right, cool, done, we are doing that. And for Shadowheart, uh, okay, yes, she opened up about her fear of wolves and she talked about the, her mysterious wound. Uh, and of course, Shadowheart being Shadowheart early game, she's being very secretive. And we've told multiple people that we'll be saving Halson here, so... Um, in an attempt for us to sh search for a cure. And then Korga, the leader of the druids, wants to speak with us. Oh yes, I think this is active because we, in the last episode, we did choose to kind of not respond to her and her, how do we say, her actions. We just left the conversation because there is something that I am going to do um, that ties in with that. So we'll we'll kind of we'll see when we can get to that. Probably much later on in the playthrough. But uh, but yeah, we'll we'll address that when the time comes. Uh, the urge. Okay, so you really can't help it, can you? These vile things you do. Don't you wonder why you're doing them? You must really have been an awful person before the crash. Perhaps it's better that you forgot about it. But you want to know, don't you? Oh, okay, now the writing for the urge. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So, we will come back to Elfira later before we take a long rest. So, my main concern is that, like, I almost want to do this now, but my main concern is that I actually am not sure which nighttime, like, long rest event is going to trigger. So, we may have to do this uh, cheeky kind of workaround for Alfira twice. Hopefully not. Um, hopefully not the case. But we will do it before every long rest just to be safe. Like we were, it being 
knocking her out. Uh, <laughs> so, but let's uh, let's clear up the rest of the grove before we head out into the world and continue our adventure. First, let's head over here. You ain't gonna shoot me. Your hands are shaking. Put it down. She can't fight back. That's the point. Get out of the way. She didn't kill your brother, Arca. You're better than this. Your mind wonders. If the crossbow bolt shot through her mouth, would she taste the metal before she died? Shoot before you lose your nerve, Tieflin. If you ever had it to begin with. <laughs> the dark urge uh, <laughs> dialogue just then. Um, let's go with step between the crossbow and the goblin because it kind of helps out everyone here. Looks like the Absolute sent me a protector. You gonna kill her too? <laughs> you move! And of course, by doing this, we um, excuse me. Of course, by doing this, we get to trigger that um, Gale dialogue, which I want. Uh, let's go to option three here. This won't avenge Cannon. It won't change anything. Where's my guidance, Shadowheart? Perfect. Nice roll there. You're right. I wish you weren't. I really do. Damn you. Damn it! But why do you care if a goblin lives or dies? My reasons are my own. <laughs> I mean, that's actually the honest truth, so I am going to go with that. My reasons are my own. Gods, you're exhausting. Fine, then. It's alright, Arca. Let's go. I do feel bad for Arca because Cannon passing away at the gate, you know, he doesn't deserve that. Uh, Alright, Gale, so we'll do this dialogue bit. And I will explain why I like this one so much. Believe it or not, but I witnessed a similar standoff back at the Yawning Portal. Of course, an establishment like that invites all sorts of outlandish entertainments. What's the Yawning Portal? An inn in Waterdeep. Ooh, never a dull moment there. Adventurers come from all over Faerun to try their luck down the well. Leads into the Undermountain, you see. Full of death, danger, and vast amounts of treasure. Hard to resist. What was the standoff about? Oh, a drow, a dragonborn, and a cleric of Cyric walk into a bar. Your standard fare. Maybe someone was cheating at cards. Maybe it was some weird lover's quarrel. In any case, out came the crossbow, and a hush fell over the entire room. Please tell me a shot was fired. <laughs> what a cheeky answer. I usually pick number one, so let's actually try number two. No, no, no. Yours truly diffused the situation. I stood up and yelled, Shadow Dark Ale for everyone. The crowd cheered. The tension drained into five dozen tankards, and soon all was well again. In a place like the Yawning Portal, the most powerful magic is calling for a round of drinks. Mind you, all I did was call for ale, but you went and stood in front of that crossbow. Well, I drink to that. <laughs> Okay, so I have a I have a sentimental spot for Waterdeep, uh, which I think is partially the reason why I kind of fell in love with Gale. Um, my first ever D and D tabletop campaign. Um, our DM actually had it take place in Waterdeep, and we actually started in the Yawning Portal. So. During my first playthrough of this game, and when the f and I heard Gale's um, dialogue for the first time, um, which somehow by some miracle I got, because in my second playthrough I actually didn't manage to get that dialogue again. 
uh, and I had to go and like figure out what how to get it. Um, which now I know how to... Well, I think I do anyway, how to consistently be able to trigger that dialogue. But um, yeah, when I heard him tell that story, it kind of brought back memories of my first campaign, which I'm very, very fond of because that was a, it was such a fun time. Um, so yeah, that's why I every time I do a playthrough, I will want to get that little dialogue from Gail. So... <laughs> It's such a it's such a silly reason I know, uh, but you know it makes me happy, so I do it. <laughs> Why not do things that make you happy? You know. Uh, right. Let us. In the process of me being so happy, I've forgotten to speak to Saza. Uh, <laughs> but let me clear this out first. Okay. Let's uh, let's go speak to Saza. head over to the uh, the storage area but we'll speak to Saza first. Uh, now I've never actually rescued Saza before because this is very red. Um, so I think I think I might still just leave her here because we can make our way into goblin camp without her. Um, but yeah we'll see. Ain't sure why you're protecting me. <laughs> Don't care neither. It's too late to make friends warg me. My tribe's coming. They're gonna burn this pretty place for the glory of the absolute and hang you by your guts. I just saved your life. Show some gratitude. I, I think this is the reason why I never actually saved her. <laughs> They'll peel your face off and nail it to a wall. I ain't scared of some god. Stick a dozen arrows in me, and Priestess Guard still patch me up. Got a whole lab set up, cooks up potions that fix our lads, no matter how much of a beating they take. Could probably stick your head back on if someone was to chop it off. <laughs> Mighty booyog. I'm not saying we should trust a goblin, but she sounds very useful. Huh, I've never had Astarian react uh, before in this uh, situation, so that's new. Um, but Saza's so cheeky! <laughs> nice story, buy it for a copper in the tavern nearby. It's the truth! I swear on your mother's grave. Get me out of here and I'll tell you where to find her. Deal? You already told me what I need to know. I'll find the priestess myself. <laughs> Even if you did find my tribe, they'd set the wargs on you. You need me. Get me out of here, and I'll tell them what a good friend you are. You know what? I think I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> Usually I just tell her to rot in the cage, but... I'm curious to see what happens if we just leave the conversation. Uh, I'm gonna buy the eggs your kids <laughs> and your birdies and your dogs. The passive way. <laughs> just run away from all our problems, why don't we? So we're going to head up here. I don't need those torches. We'll grab this pouch. What is this? I thought it was C invisibility. It's Elixir of the Colossus. Drink to increase your size. Weapons deal an additional 1d4 damage. You gain advantage in strength checks and saves. Replace the effects for other elixirs. Ooh, okay. Uh, we'll take it. We probably won't use it. If you don't know, I'm not someone who utilizes items and things very much, which uh, may be to my detriment. <laughs> I, I might try to start using uh, buffs and things a little bit more, but I have this like weird stubborn mentality of if I can do it without, I'll just do it without. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's not just Baldur's Gate 3. I'm like that with so many other games uh, and it's a terrible, weird... I, I don't know what it is. It's just something that I have. Maybe I just like like hoarding all the items and collecting them, so that might probably be it. Uh, but yeah, let's talk to uh, Pandiana and see what's up with her. Stop! This place is off limits. Leave. 
in a secluded place all alone. It would be too easy to do away with her, far beneath your talents. <laughs> oh, Narita is so brilliant with the Targaryen playthrough. I mean, uh, oh God, I'm going, I hope I don't mess up the name here, but Amelia Tyler, I believe, is the voice uh, of the narrator. And she is a brilliant actress. Like, she's just so good. Um, we are going to go with the deception one here because that allows us to loot everything in the room without it being stealing. So I'm afraid I can't. I've been placed in charge of this area. Let's see what we get here. Uh, we need a seven. Brilliant. You love to see it. But Zevlo said I... Damn it! Figured it was a pity post anyway. Do what you gotta do. Sorry if I don't show you around. Need a hand up. I just fall back down. Legs are as steady as a falls. Bloody potion! Holy shit. <laughs> the first option. Uh, resist the urge to break her legs. Ask about the potion. Yeah, let's let's go with that. From the old lady in the cave. The one with the lotions and potions. To her credit, it worked. I'm as strong as a bugbear and fearless. Of course she also warned of side effects. Should have listened. Now I'm stuck guarding crates. I would say that's pretty kind of Ethel to actually even give a warning about side, side effects. Uh, crate guarding is a serious job. <laughs> Deadly serious. Still, the sooner this wears off, the better. I do like Pendia, no, she's she's cute. Oh god. Alright, let's uh let's uh yeah, let's loot. That is what we did the deception roll for. So let us enjoy the results. We will pick this up. So this pantry chest, I always pick it up and I'll show you later. Uh it's that's not up to me actually when I can show you the <laughs> why I do it. It's up to the game and whether or not it will give me the item I need to show you why I pick up that pantry chest. Uh, we'll pick up this book. I think we actually have a couple of books to um, catch up on in terms of reading. There are a ton of uh, camp supplies in this room. Um, and whilst by the end of the game we usually end up with so much camp supplies we don't know what to do with them. Uh, early game camp supplies are pretty hard to find, so this room is, uh, at least to me, it's quite valuable um, to be able to loot everything early game. I think all of these are actually empty, but we will double check. Yep, they are all empty. <laughs> I think it actually says so as well. There's a log somewhere in here that um, that says that they are low on supplies. Uh, yeah, there we go, the ledger. We'll pick that up. Check these bottle racks. Okay. Apples and pears all the way this time. And I will pick up this backpack here. And uh, very good. Okay, so now we're gonna head back and actually enter this cave here and we'll take out some goblins. How many short rests do I have? Okay, I have two short rests, uh, rests left, which is brilliant. Um, let's catch up on some reading, actually, whilst we're here. Oh, and I still have not gotten my items back from Gale. Um, let me actually take all of that, and Gale can actually keep that rucksack there. We'll send this to camp. Um, Gale is my... I like to have him hold all the potions, I don't know why, but I just do, except animal speaking since I do actually use that. We will give all our coatings to Astarian since he's a thief and has uh, two bonus actions, he is the best person for that I feel. And uh, I don't know if I'll use this but we'll have Gale hold on, hold on to it. We'll send all our lovely rings to camp. Uh, I'll equip the loot actually. Then we can bust out in song anytime we want. Um, let's swap this rug sack out. So I do use the visual design like of the rug sacks to kind of help me remember. 
Oh! I've never grabbed the brunch from Netty before. I didn't know we get to keep it. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Little souvenir. Uh, I'm sending that to camp. I'm In my mind, it's a unique item, so we're, we're sending that to camp. <laughs> I've never gotten that item before. Um, oh, Gail, you can hold on to this. Uh, basically, those are the three items that Gail is going to eat. Uh, for anyone who, <laughs> if you've ever been concerned about Gail wanting to eat your items, uh, these three are the ones that I usually feed him because uh, whilst the Watcher's Guide is actually not a bad weapon, um, we find so many cooler weapons later down, you know, later on in the game that I, I never really, ha I don't think I've ever brought the, you know, that being said, I've only finished the game twice, but I've, I've never, in those two runs, I've never used the Watcher's Guide, like, end game, you know, so I just let Gil have it, and then um, if you do have a bard, this is something you may want to keep, but it's they're also way better like headpieces later on. Uh, and this locket, whilst it's very sentimental, uh, it's not actually very like handy. So of course we're just going to let Gil have it. Um, but yeah, since we don't have a bard in our party, uh, and in this playthrough we just let Gil have this cap, and that's literally all Gil needs. So. You know, hopefully if you've been having some issues with his, with finding something to give him, uh, these three are actually pretty good items that you can find. As you know, we're only, we're still in the Emerald Grove. We actually haven't even left the Emerald, Gro Emerald Grove. Um, and there are your three artifacts already. So, your answer to your Gale woes. Uh, right, let's read this book. A Primal and Mythical Beasts. This thick gold trimmed tome is embossed with decorative outlines of fantastical beasts. Nice. Uh, each chapter of this book describes the cultural origins of a different mythological beast. Chapter 5. Miniature Giant Space Hamster. Very little is known about this particular cryptid, though stories say they tend to choose... They tend to choose well-muscled human males as their steeds when they do deign to visit this plane. According to legends, this creature retains a wellspring of indescribable power known only to itself, though it provides its steed with, me with perhaps mystical, perhaps mundane courage. Unsubstantiated rumours claim the creature has a taste for human eyes. I won't delve into further detail for now, but that is a great book. Um... <laughs> I think I, I, I don't know if I've uh, mentioned this, but I have a terrible memory. And it's actually a blessing when it comes to Baldur's Gate 3 because there's so much content in this game and the game is so huge and filled with so much stuff that I actually am prone to forgetting like books and things. So it's really nice to uh, be able to kind of read a book and almost experience it anew again. Um, let's read the Druid's Ledger, a detailed record of the Druid's food and medical supplies. A uh, supply log is scrawled and underlined on the inside cover the dirt-stained pages that follow track the storage and use of food and medical supplies. A flurry of entries near the end suggests that the reserves are nearly depleted. That is, yeah, that's a bit sad. And I looted the rest. Sorry, druids. Um, soul coins. A treaty. A uh, treatise. Treatise? Treatise? A treaty. Treatise. I can't pronounce that word for some reason. The red leather cover of this manuscript is stamped with a grotesque sigil bearing resemblance to a screaming face. That's horrifying. Academic disclosure. This research was funded independently and conducted at a site in Aver Avernus, the first plane of the Nine Hells. Candlekeep does not encourage or promote the entrapment of mortal souls. Soul coins as a concept are one of merciless simplicity. The sum of personal and magical essence, the soul, is bound to a minted piece of infernal iron and used as currency by devils and their cohorts. They are frequently traded for their value, can purchase mercenaries, magical items, and even fuel the strange engines in the hells. However, there is a fascinating culture surrounding soul coins as well. I spoke to a devil who admitted she had one, she has one coin that she will never sell, for it was the bargain that got her promoted out of Lemure status. Oh, that's interesting. She connected me to a half-elf warlock who had promised his soul, coin to a, uh, his soul to a coin after death. I was able to look at his contract, which is reproduced below. The next 50 pages appear to be, pain to be a painstakingly written legal document in Inferno with a headache-inducing number of footnotes. 
Sounds about right. <laughs> Um, the Approachable East Volume 2. Now, I think we can actually get all the volumes. I don't know if I've ever, ever actually done that, but let's read Volume 2. A slightly better journal recording uh, Ryan Forbeck's travels across the land. These pages are stained with dust and mud, but between screeds about hygiene, while traveling on the road, your eyes settle on this section. There were those who warned me against straying from the river, but I was out searching for an adventure, and where better than the fields of the dead? Living in Baldur's Gate, one hears much about this grand grassy plain, but one never visits, and for a place with such a desolate name, it is positively teeming with life. Well, perhaps not teeming, but there were... But there are honest farmers to be found there, and a large number of ravens. Alas, I had no time to venture near the huge hills, or barrows as the locals call them, but I am told that ancient artifacts are all but bursting out of the ground. A fine spot for a little relic hunting. Sounds like Gale should visit this place to get his uh, artifacts. Um, okay, we, bi we did buy this from Volo in the last episode, and I've completely forgotten about reading it so let's read it now volo's guide to spirits and specters the working draft of a book on spirits question mark this appears to be oh no this is not worth buying <laughs> this appears to be the barely legible notes of a work heavily in progress ghost banshee poltergeist a spooky <laughs> question mark what one mug full ice half mug full distilled potato spirits Three thimbles of citrus juice, garnished with mint. That sounds like a delicious cocktail. And if I'm not mistaken, gin is made of potato skin, I think. Or is that vodka? Either way, this sounds... I might actually try this. <laughs> I will... If I do, I will report back with the results. But for now, we'll send all these books to camp and uh, do a quick round of inventory management here since we don't have too many items and are not quite overwhelmed yet uh, I will be putting this this is for now temporarily my key items backpack uh, and I'll, this this will come into play later you'll see why that uh, that amulet is uh, useful if you don't already know um, all right let us head into this little uh, I don't know what you would call it a cave I suppose this little stone door here. And we will see how we fare with this particular encounter. What path lies before me? Okay. Were there always four? Oh. Boss is with you for talking that way. Jesus, that scared me for some reason. Um. I could have sworn there were only three goblins, but He's boring. again, my memory Let's fails me, one. I suppose. Keep your blade close. Stay low. Okay, let's deactivate this rune here. We'll place Shadowheart right next Stop to Astarian. By chopping off a turf. That'd be funny. <laughs> Give him something to cry about. Poor Findal. Don't wear his voice out. We still need answers. What? Okay, let's have Gale. Is it my cat burglar? I right know, away. I know. <laughs> Gale. Gale and the sneaking dialogue. It's just too good. All right. Um, now we're going to yeah. take on... She'll kill us dead if we go back without it. Hang we'll on. Can we actually speak talking. to them? Groves got to be full of magic. That's why I've been stabbing all the rats. Might be spies. Mm, can we actually speak to them? Okay, honor mode may not be the best time to actually try for a man wearing leaves. Try new things. Uh, uh oh. Did some oh. bleeding art show up to <laughs> save the druid? I'll cut you to pieces. Kill him! Well, that answers my question. <laughs> the game decided for me, and uh, we shall accept the consequences, so <laughs> I guess... I guess technically you can speak to them, but... It does not make a difference, uh, so... 
Let's get on with it then. Uh, why is this in combat? Guardian statue? What? Where? But we deactivated it. Oh, it is? Is it this? Well, okay, sorry. Either way, I'm getting distracted. Let's uh, let's get on with this fight here. Yeah. Let's see. Come on, Gale, you can do this. Not bad. We can work with that. We can take out this guy. Um, we'll have Gale stand. I don't know if I want him standing so close to the edge there, but... It. Hopefully this will be safe. Can't even catch my breath. Um, do I have an AOE spell? I don't, but I do have magic missile. Level two, in fact. Um, Scorching ray could be good here. Let's see. Sixty-six. You know what? I think I will just go with the magic missile here. Um. I'll go with four units, I think two and two. Nice. Okay, we actually almost took both of them out, unfortunately. He still has one HP. Um, but we will Don't just kind of head step. up here. Can't afford to let up. Astarian. Oh, okay, wait. But Findal is like passed out, so he should be okay. Um Let's see if Shadowheart can take a we'll whittle the numbers down. I think that would be the best our best bet here. Uh let's see. Nice. Alright, awesome. Um I think Shadowheart will stand right next to him to set up for Astarian's um bonus attack. Uh, sneak attack. So we'll do that. Findal is passed out. Okay. So Astarian's gonna come in here with yep, sneak attack. Let's do it. Oh, beautiful. Alright, and hopefully you can take him out here. Ooh, very nice, Astarian. Goddamn, alright, calm down. Uh, <laughs> let's... I think we can actually... I think he can stay where he is. And we'll do a, a ranged attack after. Or... I could potentially dash and try to get up there in the next round. Yeah, let's do that, actually. Let's do that. Let's, let's go with that. Uh, okay, maybe not it's because of the mud. Oh god. Okay. Oh, oh. Worm. Oof. That was actually a good hit by worm. Uh, Alright. Now, let's see if I can actually reach that low ground disadvantage. That's fine. That's fair. Um, he's got 11 health. So there's no, no shot we're going to actually take him out here. Um, yeah. Uh, let's go with the magic missile, actually. We'll do three and see how we fare. Ooh, almost, almost. One HP and a dream. Uh, let's just fireball him and see what happens. Uh, <laughs> yep. Got a little bit disadvantage roll. Uh, and we're going to try again. Very good. <laughs> okay, Astarian can actually get up there, so um, let's see if we can actually just straight up hit him here. Let's move. A little stabby stab. <laughs> Great. Astarian hard carrying. Very well. Okay, uh, that that was pretty good. Uh, let's heal up uh, Findle here. And speak to him. Oh, thank you, thank you. I thought I was gonna die down here. I'm surprised the goblins didn't gut you on sight. Why didn't they? They were asking questions about a weapon. I told them the only weapons here are the ones the tieflings brought. I must tell the others what happened. I stepped careful. There are traps in these tunnels. And thank you again. Bye, Findle. He's pretty cute. Alright, let's loot. Uh, there was a teddy bear! This bear, off torn and repaired, seemed one good squeeze away from crumbling into moulded stuffing and threadbare patchwork. Oh no, I feel kind of bad 
for taking out this goblin now. Gresh and his teddy bear. You know what, uh, Gresh? To be... To, in my defense, I did not actually aggress first this time. They they attacked first. So, you know, still, in, in, in memory of Gresh, we will send this to camp. <laughs> Uh, and we'll, we'll keep we'll keep that little teddy. Okay, we will loot uh, all this. This, ta here. this cave is terribly quiet. Um, let's loot worm, and then we'll deactivate this. nothing. Ooh, I was afraid that was gonna set off there. Uh, so here's a trick that I actually use for this section um, that has worked out well before and hopefully we can pull it off again uh, let's go into turn based mode here and I'm gonna cast May Chan to turn this one off May Chan turn it off awesome and that is that exit turn based mode done uh, and now we will have a starion come down here since he has the highest strength out of all of us. He's going to jump. And... Mm. What's that? Great. Pass the check. And... Uh, I don't know why I didn't activate just then. Fire resistance. I probably won't use that. We're going to loot this. Alright, not bad. And then he can head back to us. Alright, what nice. now? Just be on my way. Alright. Very cool. That was uh that was pretty smooth. Not complaining at all. We could use all the smooth fights that we can get. Arcane Cultivation. Actually a pretty handy potion that. Uh, also really good items there. Alright, so let's go for this chest. Uh, oh, okay. Well, Sorry, this arm. This cave is terribly quiet. Um, <laughs> which is like unsettling almost, but it's actually quite reflective of what a, uh, what a cave would be like. Maybe... Well, there are lanterns and stuff around, I suppose, which is why there is... Yeah, there are these, like, torches and stuff, so... I was gonna say going to say that it probably wouldn't be this uh, bright, but... Nature's Snare. Flytrap. Chance to ensnare target if it is not a plant or a beast. Okay. Um, that's actually a pretty cool item. We'll give it to... But Gale can't actually um, absorb this. I'll... I'll equip it for now. <laughs> um, we'll send these scrolls back to camp for now and we will give this to Gail I like to just kind of keep on top of inventory management before things because things can get out of hand uh, quite quickly I feel if I don't do it um, let's give Shadowheart these arrows here Oh, hang on, sorry, I do have to change the setting here. Interface, I believe. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I just prefer to have it that way. Um, but yeah, I do like to just kind of keep on top of inventory management. Speaking of which, we actually haven't done any alchemy at all this run. Uh, and I would like to craft some potions here. Let's do it outside, okay. actually. Catch a break. Um... Just so... Oh, wait, hang on. I think I can pick this chest up as well. Um, just so we're not, like, doing it in, like, Watch dead silence. In, uh, the dead A silence of this souvenir. cave. Pick it up. We'll send that to camp. Oh, now the music kicks in. I've got a long road ahead. Is there a setting for that? Dynamic range... 
point and click frequency. Change the frequency by when exploring and interacting with the world. Always. Occasional. No, we want always. Okay, there's no, there's no like setting to loop the music more often. Um, that would or like have it play perpetually. Okay, that is I think about it for the Emerald Grove for now. Um, so we can we can actually go explore. We can go around and these boots have seen everything. Um, make some progress. Make some tracks on the rest of the. The game, really. That is an interesting path to take. Ooh, yes, okay. It's coming back some bits and pieces. There's a necklace up here that I want to grab because it's actually a pretty good necklace. So let's go do that. Pick this up. And we're gonna pick up this. And this as well. Uh, oh yes, let's actually... Before I get distracted again, let's actually look at our alchemy um, panel here. And see what we can actually craft. Okay, perfect. So we can actually craft this. Um, and hopefully after crafting this, we will still be able to get some animal speaking potions as well. Perfect. Alright, that is great. Let's do some... Holy moly, I have 28 potions of healing. I did not realize I had that many. Um, let's do some distribution here. <laughs> Share the load, as Samwise Gamgee would say. Um... Now let's have everyone have some potions on hand. And let's go grab this necklace up here. Oh. Okay, we're doing this now. My, my, what manner of place is this? A path to redemption? Or... A road to damnation. Hard to say, for your journey is just beginning. What would suit the occasion? Hmm. The words to a lullaby, perhaps. The mouse smiled brightly. It outfoxed the cat. Then down came the claw. And that... Love, was that? <laughs> they do know how to write them in Cormir, don't they? Well met, I am Raphael. Very much at your service. It's not every day one meets such a cavalier sinner as yourself. A true bloody pleasure. Hmm. Oh, you're familiar with my work. I'm rather the admirer of the sanguine arts. Even if I wasn't quite born under a killing moon myself. Shall we withdraw? We have much to discuss. To our mutual satisfaction. This quaint little scene is decidedly too middle of nowhere for my tastes. Come. There, middle of somewhere. The music, the music. Can you be more specific than somewhere? The house of hope, where the tired come to rest and the famished come to feed lavishly. Go on, partake, enjoy your supper. After all, it might just be your last. And what makes you say that? Call it a ninth sense.
What's better than a devil you don't know? <laughs> a devil you do. Am I a friend? Potentially. An adversary? Conceivably. But a savior? That's for certain. <laughs> that pose. Um, why would you help me? Because my compassion is boundless. I stride among the needy, giving comfort where I can. And you're in dire need. One skull, two tenants, and no solution in sight. I could fix it all like that. I need to think this over. Take all the time you need, but make up your mind before you're counting down with tentacles. Try to cure yourself. Shop around. Beg, borrow, and steal. Exhaust every possibility until none are left. And when hope has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair, that's when you'll come knocking on my door. Hope. <laughs> Such a tease. Hmm. And if I do want to take this deal, how would I find you? I'll be around, watching you squirm like a tadpole through a nice, juicy brain. All those pretty little symptoms, sundering skin, dissolving guts, they haven't manifested yet, have they? One might say you're a paragon of luck. I'll be there when it runs out. That's really cool camera work just then. Uh, okay, uh, well, now we have met Raphael. Uh, I've met Raphael in different locations before. I'm actually not sure what the trigger is for him to show up and, and meet you. Um, I've met him in the grove itself and um, somewhere in there. Um, but yeah, so I don't know what it is that causes him to appear. But I should probably find out. It will be good to know. Uh, let's loot this. Oh, that's not really a that's not a particularly useful potion in my books. Um, and then we're gonna grab the necklace here. This the silver pendant. It gives us guidance. Uh, Gail will not be having this pendant. <laughs> matches the oh. sigil in that cave. The harpers were busy. Hmm, okay, so it's a, it's a harper necklace. Um, yeah, it's actually useful, this one, so we won't actually be feeding it to Gail. And I am, in fact, going to put it on because uh, earlier we did not get um, the option to have Shadowheart's uh, guidance. So it'll be good to be a bit independent for it. Um, right, now we can speak to our companions about Raphael, so let's do that. Do you feel as flattered as I do? Fight it to die with a devil. <laughs> I don't know why that was an arcana check then. <laughs> but you have a strange definition of flattery. Believe me, that was a devil's equivalent of serenades and roses. Don't let his bluster fool you. All that talk of desperation merely illustrates his own. I think he wants something from us badly. And in that knowledge lies our opportunity. But what is it uh, that this devil wants so very badly? Our souls. I suspect that's but his opening offer. Let me play the devil's advocate. The man is too eager. Do not dismiss his offer out of hand. If there's one quality all the denizens of the hells embody, it's ambition quality they share with many humans come to think of it mm. rich of you rich coming from you gail um 
And how do you propose we beat a devil at his own game? By figuring out his true intentions. Fact one, there's something very strange and very powerful about our tadpoles. Fact two, a devil offers to take it away. Devils aren't known to aid mortals out of simple kindness. Whatever Raphael wants, we must be the key to getting it, along with our tadpoles. So, I say for now, we wait. If I'm right, Raphael will seek us out again, and when he does, there's a mighty bargain to be made. Remember his Cormirian rhyme? Down came the claw. Perhaps we should start growing our nails. All right, Astarian, what do you have to say? <laughs> now there's a bloody devil trailing after us. Well, this gets better and better. Shop around, he said. He seems sure we won't find anything. And he might be right. We've had no luck so far. He's not. We still have options. We gotta save Halsin, you know, and all that jazz. Astarian, calm down. Maybe. But all that, take your time, I'll wait, nonsense. He's playing with us. He reminds me of, well, someone I used to know. Someone I like to play with people. Creatures like them don't play games unless they know they can win. We're not his playthings. We'll show him that. Maybe. But he's not the only one spinning a web for us. This is no ordinary Mind Flayer parasite. Who tampered with it and why? What do they have planned for us? And why are we important enough that a devil comes knocking on our door? If we find those answers, we might have a chance. <laughs> we finally got freaking Astarian approval. I don't know about you guys, but I find it incredibly difficult to get his approval early game before you've kind of made any headway in the relationship with him it's like let me let me just have a quick peek at our our standings here look look at it it's five mate like it's like gail obviously is much higher because we've done so many things that he approves of um and we've uh you know generally i tend to how do you say, lean on that kind of morality, like a similar morality to him anyway. So, and, and once we start um, feeding him artifacts, it's just going to shoot up. So that's, that's, that's fine. Shadow Heart's not too bad either, right? Because once we start to, uh, once we progress, it's going to, it's going to just increase. But Astarian is so difficult for me. It's always so difficult to get his approval early game. And we finally got one, so I'm pretty happy about that. I'm, I, I'm actually wondering if the other dialogue options, because I can't remember what I picked before, and I'm wondering if the other ones would actually uh, gain his approval as well. Uh, okay, Shadowheart. Bloody hells. Literally. Just when I think I've got a grasp on our dilemma, a devil shows up. <sighs> no matter. We've dealt with every other oddity thrown at us lately. We can handle this one too. Now, as for this Raphael, he knows our secret. He claims he can help. What do you make of him? Mm. Okay, number four is like a big no-no. That's -no. so invasive. Uh, he's a devil. We shouldn't trust him. Simple as that. No doubts at all. He seemed powerful and very knowledgeable about our problem. Not the worst prospect we've stumbled across. As long as you can look past what he is. Uh, let's see. Enough about me. What do you think is best? I'll tell you in due course. I just wanted to see how close we are in thinking, first of all. Cheeky, cheeky, Shadowheart. Let's let's hold firm to our opinion here. I'm not going to change my mind. We can't trust Raphael. Good. There we That's go. what I wanted to hear. I know people who work much like our new acquaintance does. You don't need a scourge or a rack to break people. Fear and self-doubt are sufficient. When actual pain comes, 
The victims already done the heavy lifting for their torturer. There were no right answers with that devil. He was toying with his food, us. <laughs> Let's go with um, number two here. Who the hells are these people, you know, who do such things? Because that's going to help, I think, uncover a bit more about her. Cunning people. Private. And very dangerous at times. Perhaps you'll meet them one day. See? Sounds like a threat. Sowing doubt is an old trick. Watch out for it. And for Raphael. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I do love Shadowheart's body language during that conversation. It's really, really, like, it's proper. Um, Alright, let us continue on. And see what we find on our way. I think... Okay, yes, we're gonna have this bit here. We're gonna go... Um, our next main objective here is I, I want to go... I actually want to go pick up Karlak. And we will... So, oh. Do you have loves waiting for you once this is all over? You know what? That is not the easiest of questions for me to answer. <laughs> you mean just waiting? Like a lovesick puppy? Short-term amusements are much less hassle. I do love it when the party like banters amongst them, like across the whole uh, like team. Because... Let's get Shadowheart to come along with us here. Um... I, f I feel like it's really rare and it's really nice when it happens. These traps. Goblins. When all three of them have something to kind of say, uh, I, I really enjoy those instances. Let's pick up this mugwort here and Anything this pouch. Here? Pick that up. And we'll pick up this shield. You know what I really miss about Baldur's Gate? The food. Freshest fish I've ever had. I don't care for fish. Red meat. Now, that's a different matter. Rare as can be. Dripping. <laughs> well, unless we find a cure, you won't have any teeth to chew it with soon enough. <laughs> And this is the person who expects us to be shocked when he reveals that he's a vampire. <laughs> ah, you've got to love it. Alright, let's uh, get rid of these vines here. And, oh. Alright, we're gonna talk to Andrik and Brynna. People up ahead. Something's wrong. I can't stop the... You're a true soul. You can't die. Please, stay with us. I, I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. A strange symbol glows marked on their flesh, and something within you stares in response. Ooh. Should we actually give in to the, uh, to this? Uh, is this a roll? It is a roll. Let's, let's, let's actually just ask them. What happened to your friend? An oil bear. Please, do you have any- Shut up, Andrik. Do you serve the absolute? Wait. The injured man locks eyes with you. A familiar squirming churns in your head. Let's, uh, let's hold his stare here. Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andrik and Brenna. New recruits. Yours to shepherd. Protect them. She is a true soul. Mind her. She will... She... She... 
Edwin! Ed! Please! He's with the Absolute now. You're... You're a true soul. Edwin, our brother. He was chosen. Like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. Okay, let's um let's actually let's actually ask her true soul. What? Are you are you testing us? A true soul like you has been chosen by the absolute. You speak with her voice. Your words are her command. She grants you the power to enforce her will. And when the time comes, the true souls you will rule. That fellow had a tadpole in his head, and they consider him blessed? Chosen? What madness is this? I've never heard that dialogue before. Uh, okay. Um, you're mistaken. I'm no true soul. What? What are you doing? Your sword brother, now! Oh. Oh! <laughs> That's a very aggressive reaction to just okay, well sure. Uh let's go after Andric here. We do have a oh we have an advantage on him. Oh, is it because we've got okay, yeah, it's a shocking grasp thing, right? Let's go for that. Nice, okay. What should I do? And, uh, okay, let's see how big they are. 19 and 24. Uh, Shadowheart could potentially do some big damage here with uh, Inflict Wounds, so we are going to go for that. Uh, Brynna, I'm sorry. Time to deal some punishment. But you shot first, so that's what you get. And I think I will... Oh, we are running out of spell slots. I, I wanted to... Um, Heal a star in, but I think we'll actually. I think we'll be fine. Unleash me. Uh, can you actually get to Andric? Yes, you can. Okay, that's great because we do have advantage on shocking grasp here. Hmm. Checkmate. Oh no, I should have actually used shatter. It's fine. That's okay. Uh, all right. Cut and a starian. Okay, a starian might be able to take out. Uh, both of them actually, they both have 11 HP left, so let's go for... Oh, we'll go for Brynna, yeah. Spill some blood. There we go, nice, good job Astarian. And we're gonna go with Andric here. Oof, oh, we get another, another shot here. Nice. And I think if he tries to run, we will have an attack of opportunity. Oh, he is not running. Okay, never mind. Uh, shocking grasp again. Nice. All right. Haunted one reuniting friends. Reuniting to the fallen companion. Okay. Sure. Oh my days. Okay. What a way to put it. Um, let's do a short rest just because oh, Starian's pretty respite. busted up. Um, right, time to loot. Yeah, I've never um, done that dialogue path before. Usually, I ask them quite a few more questions, I think. So that was actually a really, really quick dialogue path if we just straight up say, hey, I'm not actually a true soul. <laughs> I am enjoying our walks together. Aren't you, Dan? Um, sure. In silence. <laughs> On my feet. <laughs> Come on, Gail. Really? You love to chat. Okay, let's loot Edwin here. Strange power resonates within the corpse. It calls to you. Most corpses feel like toys before you, to be played with and discarded when you tire. This body seems different. A friend calls out from the corpse, desperate to be freed. Why let its host's memories go to waste? The tadpole has absorbed it all, 
Its experience could nourish you, strengthen you. Uh, let your curiosity guide you. Free the tadpole. Every time. <laughs> But yeah, we will be collecting as many tadpoles as we can, because uh, I will be indulging in at least the first tier of illicit powers for this playthrough. We'll take every advantage we can get, especially for the end game. Oh, so many sausages! Uh, and we'll keep this shaft as well. Uh huh. Cool. Um, where's my inventory here? All right, we have so many pouches. Uh, actually, let's give one pouch to Gale, uh, just so we can kind of tidy up his inventory a little. We will put all the uh, potions, maybe with the exception of the healing potion, in the pouch. Look at that, nice and neat. Um, and I will, where is my main kind of core nut rucksack here? We'll keep this broken spear and I think the rest this is a, a throwing item I actually don't like using the acid vial so I will send that over to camp oh, I could just I could have just sold it couldn't I um, it's fine um, let's toss I don't know if I will use these bulbs anymore but we'll hang on to them for now and we'll give a shovel to Shadowheart so that everyone has a shovel for themselves. And uh, yeah, I, ooh, you know, I said earlier when I picked this up that it's not like my favorite item. But I wonder if it will overwrite my um, speak with animals. So I'm not sure if that's something I want to do yet. I'll, I think I'll just hand it to Gail for now. And because I'm reading, I've, I actually have not read the description for this. Uh, fragments of memory and perception smatter this liquid, a crude constellation of thought. Uh, but this bit here, drink to probe into the minds of those around you. You will be able to read the thoughts of certain creatures while speaking with them. I'm curious if that actually unlocks new dialogue options. Um, Maybe something that we'll have to explore. And does everyone have a kind of wear pouch? Okay, I think we have that. And I'm going to send, I'm actually going to send this back to camp here so I don't carry it around with me in case anyone accuses me of theft, which I am, I'm very much guilty of. Um, what's in here? A bucket, a mug. It looks like, oh no, it's not that. I thought the handle was a bucket handle uh all right and everyone has a rucksack and all that let's put that in there we'll sell it cool let's continue on any thing we can pick up here wisp weed leather boots we'll take leather boots more wisp weed Le let's go down here. I actually don't think I've been down here before. Maybe a long time ago? A bird's nest! Rotten eggs. That's sad. Uh, let's see, is there anything here? A herb, a shield, and a ruptured mind flayer pod. Whose pod is this? An empty mind flayer vessel. If its occupant survived, then nowhere to be seen. Is this Carlex pod? Isn't Carlex pod near where she is, though? Guess we'll find out. Let's go. There's a coffin here. I don't actually know why there is a coffin here. Um. Maybe I'll need more this Should we do this cave now? Mm. 
You know what? Why not? Because we are owl bear tracks. Yeah. Its nest must be nearby. We're here already, so we may as well explore this cave now. Nothing. And let's take this. A stench. Dead owl bear prey, no doubt. Okay. Let's do this bit here. A shrine to Saluna. Quaint. Quaint. Ooh, Gail, you might need to arcana this up. There you go. The wizard sealed this chest. Wasn't an amateur either. Alright, let's see if we can unlock this chest. Can I get the uh, perception roll here? Nice. What a day. Uh oh. What's next, I wonder? Oh, Gail, it's on you. <clears throat> Forthwith. Oh. That might be worth it. There we go. Uh, we'll grab this prayer sheet and. A prayer sheet? With the same symbol as the one on the chest. Nice. Wish I had a bag of holding. Gonna pick up this book here. The path lies before me. And let's unlock the chest. Let's read out the prayer sheet. A prayer dedicated to Saluna, imploring all to accept the Moon Maiden's blessings and share in her bounty. There we go. And we have the Genesis of Saluna and Shah, a book of religious lore. An ancient tome de detailing how Saluna came into being along with her sister Shah. The silver radiant Saluna and the dark alluring Shah complemented each other and brought an orderly distinction between light and dark in the universe. Very cool. Let's open this chest. You should leave it, or even destroy it if possible. She's so upset. Uh, but why? This rubbish is an offering to Saluna. At best, it's worthless. At worst, who knows? Could be cursed. Do not trifle with that moon witch or her trinkets. Only trouble will follow. Mm, an insight roll could be interesting here. But I think we are going to the intimidation one. It's so aggressive. Let's go with this one. We can't just abandon resources that we might need. Be sensible. All right. Fine. Perhaps you can sell them for a couple of coins. She is not happy with us. Oh. Well, that's probably why. Uh, but come on, Shadowheart. We get a really good pendant out of it. Um, I'm going to pick this up and we will send that chest to camp as well. And there are a couple of good items here to pick this and this up. And let's see what literature we've picked up here. We can send this back to camp, we don't need that. Um, the prayer sheet we have, yep, that was what we used to open the chest. And the Salunite Rites, a plain unadorned note. This tome describes the ancient initiation rites observed by some who worship the moon goddess, Saluna. When a youngster came of age, they would be left to fend for themselves deep in the wilds. There, they would show their skills of navigation and self-reliance, as well as their determination to return to the moon maiden's silvery glow. Once they found their way back to their people, their faith and standing as a follower of Saluna would be beyond any doubt. Okay, a little bit of... <laughs> oh, we didn't hear it, but look at what Shadow just said. Worthless of my days. Uh, let's read uh, this one. The War Between Saluna and Shah. A dusty volume that speaks of the conflict between the sibling goddesses Saluna and Shah after Saluna ignited the sun and brought life-sustaining light and warmth to the universe. Uh, I mean, you know, the sun is... Uh, I'm not, not going to complain about the sun, really. It's a pretty good thing to have. Right, we've read all that, so we can send that to camp. And I'm going to actually give this to uh, Astarian because he will most likely be in the thick of it when we are doing fights. So 
I think it would be the best on him. Um, and then let's give our items that we wish to sell to Shadowheart. I will save this idol of Saluna though and send it to camp. Alright, we've cleared this bit here. Let's head in deeper into the cave and we are not uh, yeah we're definitely not going to fight the uh, the owl bear here um, we're still quite what are we level two I believe level okay we're level three but still um, I think the owl bear fight is pretty tough so I usually just speech my way out of this situation. Um, but we do want to just say hi to them. Look at them. Okay, that we are going to try to rescue him as well. So you feel the quake of its heavy footsteps before you see it—an owl bear, its beaked face looming out of the darkness. What's this? Something weak. Something tender. Won't even have to chew you before I feed you to my son. Soft meat. So the first... <laughs> the first option uh, is a bit weird to me because I don't actually see the spear that's lodged in her head. Um, Maybe I'm missing something here, but uh, I'm gonna go with uh, option two here. Uh, sorry, wrong cave. I'll be going. I don't think so. You've, You've seen, seen my nest. nest. You've seen my cub. That, that makes you dangerous. dangerous. An, An easy, easy meal. Hmm. Okay. Just allow me to leave. I'm no threat to you or your cub. Do we have any extra bonuses? Okay, so they're on, they're on par. We'll just go with that. We'll have guidance. Uh, we need a four here. Perfect. You're small, weak. Killing you would be a waste of time. You can go, but you make one wrong step and I'll rip you to shreds. Okay, we actually gained approval for doing that, so let us leave. <laughs> We'll leave you be, Mama Alba. Message received. Fucking hell, the, uh, the debuff on the uh, rough terrain there freaked me out for a moment. I thought we entered combat. Uh, right, okay, so now Let's we can exit see. the cave. It was also, I think it's also good to do this now just because I can uh, fully, like, I can maximize the, uh, the speak with animals I have for the day. Since. We are very much reliant on potions for that. Let's pick all of these up. Rogue's Mosso is a top tier ingredient since we can craft all the healing pots with it. Aha! So it's here. Strange. The pig's dead, my friend. Staring at it won't bring it back. Come on. We'll never fix these brain worms if we stop and gawk at every piece of carrion you find. Let's, let's leave it be. Sure, let's go. Alright. I mean, Astarian, you shouldn't tell me off because, come on, we picked up uh, picked up some camp supplies from doing that. Okay, lots of loot here. Dead goblins. Dead travelers. Lots of camp supplies. Heading to the Druid's Grove. We cleared off this fog of what we have. Okay, so we actually done a fair amount of uh, clearing up the fog of war here. I think I think that cuts off there. Um, so we're actually pretty good on doing that. And search these barrels. Okay, we cleared the fog of war, but it was actually worth coming back up here for all the. Well, that's that's junk. That, that isn't. Oh, what's this? The Realm According to Bumpo. A mass printed paperback detailing the adventuring experiences of the fictional rube, Gabin Bumpo. 
The book naturally falls to a dog-eared page in which Bumpo describes the more unusual races he's met in his travels. But they weren't half so strange as the bird folk. First, Ara- Aracocra, <laughs> I think that's how it is. Aracocra I met had the head I met had the head of a parrot, the body of a human, and the wings also of a parrot. I tried not to stare, but it was real hard. Turns out she was one of a motley party because around her table were a tabaxi, tabaxi cat folk, a genasi element folk, and a turtle. Turtle folk. <laughs> Trying to act casual, I asked what the hell they all were. They ignored me, but I can't blame them. To them, I must have looked awfully dull and average, for they were the first of their kind I'd seen. But I was just one of a billion boring humans to them. Fascinating. Send to camp, and we will. Hey, we found our shovel that we needed. Um, uh, is this worth picking up? Not really. Just put that sack here. Alright, and since we are very close to this waypoint, we will actually just head on in, grab the waypoint, and then we'll kind of back out. Movement on the roofs. I sense a classic ambush in the making. Well, hopefully we uh, can talk our way out of it. I know you're there. Show yourselves. You spotted us. Good. It's like they say. No fun in skewing a pig what doesn't know he's cooked. <laughs> what a sentence. Um, there'll be no skewering happening here. Now let me pass. Or oh, I don't want any trouble. Number three feels like it will initiate combat. So let's not do that. Um, I don't want any trouble. And I do not want to be stuck mopping up nosy trespassers like you. Ain't no one getting their way today. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Ooh, okay. Um, what? Okay, this has an advantage. But we also have... Re this, is, this also has an advantage. The persuasion. Just let me buy and we'll pretend this never happened. Yeah, let's go with that. We need a 9 still. It's pretty high roll. Pretty high DC. Oh. Not an issue though. Thankfully. Oh, suppose it's best to save our strength for a real threat. Go on then. Just keep your nose clean. Alright, we got more approval from Gale and Shadowheart. Those two are kind of... Uh, not that. Uh, those two kind of line up. Oh, and Astarian got inspired. Nice. So we got another inspiration point to work with. Oh, we're maxed out at four again. Um, we should find somewhere to spend it. Uh, let's see what our approval rating is looking like. Oh yeah, Shadowheart got boosted up to over 30 now, which is great. Okay, let us get this waypoint and then we'll head back out. to meet a, a very important fellow. Once we loot um, everything along the way. I think we've actually grabbed everything. There are these hunter stashes, by the way. I, I did click it earlier on the ground and it... Um, I don't think I've got gotten anything worthwhile from them, but I'm curious how many I've missed. What's in here? <laughs> That's oh, curious. this is a treasure trove. Not a chance. Oh no, it's in there. Okay, it's not. It's not that. Um, it's just a shortcut. There he is, the best boy. It's Scratch. Okay, so let's loot this bird. That's oh, a ring. I will take it. I will take it. It's Scratch. Okay, let's let's say hi to Scratch. Oh, he came up to me. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Keep moving, stranger. Quietly. What happened here? I told, I told you, you to, to go. go. Okay, let's let's go with perception, even though I don't have any bonus on wisdom here. Um 
Oh, I suppose we could go with persuasion. Let's let's give perception a try. Because we do have four inspiration points and we do have to spend them somewhere if the roll fails. So we need a nine here. Well, ask and you shall receive. I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> and the D4 was a full you four see as a well. Name etched into the leather. Scratch. There we go. You're Scratch, aren't you? Come here, it's all right. You know my name. Interesting. A predator wouldn't care to learn it. Still, you should go. My friend is injured. He needs rest. God, the second one is so brutal. I don't think he's going to wake up. Of course he will. And then we'll return home. What happened to your friend exactly? We were attacked. We're cackling furry things on two legs. And their smell. It was strange, rotten, evil. You know the creatures he describes. Knolls. Come on, you can travel with me if you like if you like. No. I won't leave him. Well, if he doesn't wake up, follow my scent. I have a camp. If it comes to that, I may. Again. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, you see... Okay, do you see what I mean with the Astarian approval? Like... <laughs> it's... It's... He's still at five, mate! Like, oh my days. No. Okay. What does Scratch have to say still? Go on. If he doesn't wait, I'll find you. Oh, bless. Okay. Alright, so we've done that bit. We will loot a uh, Gomwick there. Collapse Burrow. Okay, let's see if there's anything else we can pick up here before we head on that way. Anything on my Oh, a berry bush! We'll take that! Seven berries. And... Lucky number seven over there. Um, mm, I'm trying to see if there are any more hunter stashes on the ground, but I don't think there are. We'll grab these, and I think there are, yes, some berry bushes there. Grab the mugwort. Ooh, five, and six. Oh, five, six, seven. That's cute. I don't know if that's random every time or not, but cute for now. A uh, bucket of fish, we will take the fish and... Nope, we do not need sandals. Okay, so... Let's... We'll read the letters that we picked up just then. Send this to camp and... Gale can have a shovel, now we all have shovels. Um, oh, we can read that. Let's have Shadow Heart help carry this. Perfect. And we'll send this to camp as well. Okay. Goblin's drawing. A childlike charcoal drawing of three stick figures. Drawn in thick charcoal lines upon an animal skin, this childlike portrait depicts three stick figures. A goblin with sparks in its hands a square, humanoid figure, and what seems to be an elf. Each of them is wearing a simple crown. Okay, um, let's send that to camp, actually. Uh, personal note. Gomwick, be doubly careful on the way back to Baldur's Gate. I've received more reports of attacks on travellers throughout the region. I can't have my best messenger winding up face down in a ditch somewhere. Watch yourself, better late than never. Postmaster General Danzo. Danzo. Ah, uh, well, sorry. Danzo, but Gomwick did perish on the road. Devon, it's a boy. He's healthy and perfect. I've named him after his father. Come back and see us as soon as you can leave. Get leave. Love, Flora. And Devon, Julia. Oh, that's very sweet. Do we ever meet Devon? A tough letter. Nine fingers. I won't come back to the city, not while you have your thugs looking for me. If you want the debt paid, you ha you'll have to trust me and collect it yourself. Go to the graveyard and look for where a M. Kerwin is buried. Get digging and you'll find enough valuables to settle matters between us. Don't go looking for me. I'll know when I'm safe. S. Who is S? Okay. 
maybe we'll learn of who S is in the future. Let's send these to camp for now. And, uh, ooh, the hunt, we found a hunter stash. Okay, wait, there we go, okay. Let's cross this river here and then we have to do some kind of, um, we're gonna have to deal with some party management here. But that means we're gonna- Oh no, okay. It's starting! Hi <laughs> Gail! Okay. Let's uh... Oh no, Gail and, and, they're all, and the AI broke for the jumping. Let's see if they can jump on their own. You can do it. Shadowheart's done it. Alright. Gail! Gail! Okay, he, he might no, need a bit of help around. here. <laughs> so might as well. Actually, I should have just gone back to camp. Um, Is that blood? No. Let's no, head back to camp and then we can potentially... Uh, we can... I would have words with you. Oh. Oh. Oh no, I hate this bug. It's because my game crashed. Okay, I'm not re-rolling. You, you. Oh God. Okay. How much further can I go? With us, I need to feed Gale. What is it? Not this one. Nor this one. And this one, a less worthy still. What are you doing? Writing the balance. Beyond mortal realms, there doth exist an amalgamation of spirits akin to thine own, ensnared by the treacherous cult of the Absolute, felled in its name. They bear great discontentment with their destiny. For a mere pittance of coin, I might summon the worthiest among them to lend aid to thy undertaking. Will these hirelings jo be joining me willingly? Most willingly, forsooth. Their passions doth run deep for what hath been wrought upon them. Okay. Um... Do you think I can trust these cultists? Suspicion always haunts the guilty mind. My services are all that I can proffer thee. What thou wilt do with them is for thee to undertake. <laughs> the hand gesture there is really good. Um, I've actually never um, recruited any hirelings before. And I've not seen much about them either. And I think we'll just continue on that path for now until further notice. Because um, I don't think we need them. We, we do have like a full party and more. So, so it's not like we've got any slots to fill or anything. But thank you, Withers. Let's... Uh... Oh no, I forgot to regroup. Um... <laughs> Gail, I'm sorry. God just left them there. Once I went back to camp to chat with with us, uh, let's go back to camp. Um, Gail, have to live in more let's have you times. fed. Okay, you're gonna walk back to your tent Very first. Um, but yeah, sorry. This is. I don't think it's a bug. I think it's like a failsafe for when your game crashes, and it it bothers me to no end because now I I think. I think the green chest is the new one, and I think everything... Let's do a test, actually. Um, I'm gonna send this spiked bulb to camp. Um, and I think everything now will go to the green chest. Um, don't ask me why, my brain just works the way it is and I can't explain, but it frazzles me to no end when this happens. Uh, there was... A playthrough where my game crashed really early on, in a in a, in a situation akin to this, and 
this bugged me and I just re-rolled the game because of it. But because we've already re-rolled once um, due to the, like, crashing, I, I don't actually want to do that if I can help it. So we're just going to bear with this and uh, continue on, I suppose. But yeah, you see, oh god, because I didn't know that this was here and all the things that I've sent over... Well, on the plus side, I do get these items again, and these are like exclusive items. But still, oh god, now I have to deal with... Okay, well, it's fine. Okay, so I think that the... Yeah, so the green chest is actually the main chest now, which means this yellow one is not going to be of any use anymore, so we will just kind of move this over. Why did this not go over? All right, so yeah, let's uh, let's kind of uh, figure this out. I'll try to do this uh, as quick as I can. We will put all these scr um, scrolls in here. So yeah, now I have two of these helmets, um, and I've personally never really used the shape shifting spell um, that much. So, I don't really carry that around with me. And we have these uniques that I collect. And instruments. Ooh, I should have stolen a, um, a wicker chest, but it's okay. We'll stick the instruments in here. The pantry chest cannot, is not coming into effect just yet. For me, anyway. We'll store the extra chests within this heavy chest here. Oh, bloody hell, I really hate this uh, duplicate traveler's chest thing. Uh, let's clean up the uniques some more. These are unique items that I will store in here. Uh, let's... I'll take these back and then we'll clean up our books. Building our little library. Now we won't put in the scrolls. I believe that's correct. Yes. Put the scrolls in here. And then I think we'll leave this here. Where did I put this item? We have another one of those. Is it in the heavy chest? No, it's not. Is it in here? It is in here. Uh, I might actually toss that back into the... Oh, now we have two of these as well, hey? Oh, fuck no. Okay, let's, that's fine. We'll make one of them the main one. And... I think we will store this one away. This duplicate. Because I usually put, like, non-unique clo clothing items here or like you know just clothes that we're going casual camp outfits and stuff i put that in there uh oh we do get another one of uh, these though this is actually i'll, I'll take that I'll, I'll take that uh that being said we will store that pack away so that we just don't have too many duplicates here and i will put this pouch in here as well okay um yeah, I do. Uh, like I, I, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I do use the icons to kind of recognize what chests are for what, um, and there will be some other like designs that we can use to store these items. Um, okay, actually, whilst we are at it, let's open this up. Put our potions in there. Uh, I think we can give those to Gale actually. Oh god, poor Gale is uh he's got that arc arcane. He can he can hang on for a little longer. Um let's open this up. And we'll sort out our camp supplies since we are here. We may as well. Is this the one that's not open? Okay, so this is empty. Let's sort 
by type here. And let's see, did we pick up any camp supplies? No, we did not. We did pick up a bunch of a few drinks here. We have, so this one I want to just use, use for cooked meals and prepared food items like that. And then we have the, oh, we don't have enough, uh, oh, I suppose when Karlek joins us, we'll have one more sack, uh, like a camp supply pack, which we can use. So maybe we'll leave this for later, actually. Uh, after we pick Karlek up. For now, let's uh, let's make sure Gail is fed. He seems fine though, but he still he definitely still has that arcane hunger. So let's uh, feed him. Oh, I'll have to speak slowly. I'm finding it quite difficult to concentrate. And my condition gnawing at my insides like a teething displacer kitten. I think I have a magical artifact you'll be interested in. That is most gratifying to hear. May I? Let's give him the uh, Chimera's locket. Thank you. Magic, it's like a lullaby that sings to sleep the demon inside. A metaphorical demon, I haste to point out, but no less dangerous. And no less bound to wake up again to continue its ravages. Such is the nature of all monsters. Hmm. Um Death number four is so brutal. I mean, to be fair, that's that's a that's a pretty Reasonable response, uh, but we're gonna get number one here. I'm glad you're feeling better. Your condition sounds unpleasant to say the least Oh, it's not so bad once you get used to it and on the plus side My tower in Waterdeep has never been so free of clutter hmm. <laughs> Sincerely though I understand I ask a lot from you with few answers in return But in time all will be told Okay, I trust you Uh Let's go with option two here. That condition of yours is a very expensive one. I obtained it in Waterdeep. Nothing there comes cheap. Hmm, City of Splendor indeed. Uh, Alright, so does he have any more dialogue after this? What's on your mind? Nope. Uh, oh, there we go. We can actually ask him about this. I was wondering that condition of yours. Why does it require magic? Think of it as tribute. The kind a king might pay to a more powerful neighbor to avoid invasion. As long as I pay, there will be peace. But should I ever stop, along comes a war. I can assure you, the battlefield would extend well beyond the borders of my body alone. Okay. Can we actually, like, just pile on the artifacts to him and just be done with it? Um, I think I have a... Because the option is here. I think I have a magical artifact you'll be interested in. Your enterprising approach to my problem is most encouraging. But it is a delicate process to keep my condition stable. I do not yet need to consume an item, but keep it close by. It will not be too much longer. Okay. So we can't actually... Okay, so... And then the option goes away. Okay, so... We can't just, like... <laughs> pile it onto him. Uh, let's speak to our companions. We will go down party order and then the rest in camp on uh, their opinion on Gale absorbing the item. I've known people who are hungry for power, but Gale takes it a bit too literally for my liking. I wonder how he does it. Why he does it. <laughs> I'm sure all will be revealed in time, but I don't like it. A waste of perfectly good treasure. Yep, you're not wrong there, Sarian. <laughs> I can't disagree. Um, Shadowheart, what do you have to say? So, Gale just consumes magical items like I do wine. We truly are a group apart. Nevertheless, as quirks go, that's a new one for me. 
<laughs> Ooh, do we want to poke this bear? I think we'll leave it for now. I think I think the truth will be revealed in time. Let's leave. And then we are going to speak to uh, Lazel. Gale is positively voracious. Well, let him suck up all the magic he needs, as long as he doesn't snack on a Githyanki silver sword. <laughs> Ooh! I, I, oh man, I have not spoken to Lazel. My bad. Let's uh, let's actually let's actually speak to her. Um, do you know much about mind flayers? I understand much beyond your comprehension. More to the point, I know the cure for our condition. It is imperative we locate a crash. You do well to observe more and question less. Are you sure a crash is our only path to a cure? Entirely. I was as devoted to my studies as I was to my training. Each crash contains a Zathisk purification device. So I learned from the writings in the Kaleer Library. The library was a gift from Vlakith herself, that we may gain total understanding. That kind of wisdom is very valuable. Absolute nonsense. Oh my. We'll go with the middle ground here, I think. Books are fallible, as are those who write them. Not books, but slates. Wisdom so profound it is etched into stone. Truth as perfect as the queen who decreed it. Countless scholars roam the astral sea and beyond, observing the ways of our lessers, exploring planes so distant order turns to chaos and cold fires rage. The plains are ever quaking, and their peoples ever shifting. The Githyanki possess an eternity of knowledge. Yet we still collect more, infinities upon infinities. Okay, well... Do you know what happens if we don't find the cure? Yes, in great detail. It starts with a fever and memory loss. Then you start to hallucinate. Your hair falls out and you bleed from every orifice. Your bones will change form. Your jaw will split to allow room for four great tentacles. All skin will turn to gore and be shed to reveal new flesh underneath. Then you have ceased to exist and a mind flayer is born. That was a very dramatic retelling of it, Lazel. Uh, that's not going to happen. We will find a cure. Words forged in steel. Oh. May your actions express the same metal. We must find my kind and be rid of the parasite. It's as simple as that. The first symptoms should have long since started, though. That is what puzzles me. You're worried we haven't changed. This is good news. Yes, if you give it no further thought. But anomalies lead to surprises. Bad surprises. Besides, what hasn't happened may yet come to pass. I mean, not always, Lazel. It's not always bad surprises. Uh, let's actually go with number one here. You look so unusual. Githyanki are rare in these parts. I expect I am your first. Mm. I'd never heard of your kind until my capture. I suppose I am as alien to you as you are to me. I know of your kind, but I do not often encounter them. That large, fleshy nose of yours looks like a mistake. Okay, Lizelle, there's no need to comment on my appearance. We weren't even talking about that. Be silent. You know what? We're gonna go at number three. Really? Thanks for noticing. It was an observation, not a compliment. No matter. I do not intend to stay long in this place. <laughs> oh, she's so funny without even trying to be, honestly. Um, okay, we'll do the dark urge ones. My past is a mystery to me. Could the parasite have, have caused that? Ceramorphosis takes all of you. Mind, body, soul. 
An ordinary tadpole would eat at your memories until they were lost to the void. But our tadpoles are far from ordinary. I wonder if another fact is in play. Hmm, okay. Uh, now we go with the urges. I've had these- we've had many urges now. I've had these urges. I want to kill. I want blood. Many a good warrior savors the scent of blood in the air. There's no shame in a capricious murder now and again. Too many, oh though. And you waste energy and dull your weapon. My suggestion. Attack with purpose and savor your kills. And if the urge proves too much, well... I'm sure we can find you a goblin or two to carve up. Okay. Okay. I you know what? That was actually I'm I've never heard Lazel's response to those um uh speech options before, and that was actually a pretty good answer. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Uh alright, Will, hello, the Blade of Frontiers. Gail slurped that thing up like a horse with a carrot. I hope he got what he needed from it. Mm-hmm. Uh, ooh, okay. So we have a couple options here. We'll do the Dark Urge stuff last. And then we will, uh, we'll ask him first. Tell me, Will, how did you become... How did you come to be the Blade of Frontiers? My father once oh. said, One does not pursue a champion's life. One merely answers its call. So it was for me. I was hunting near the cloakwood when I heard it. A child crying out from a lone farmstead. I found him in the fields flanked by goblins. His mother's corpse bled into the soil next to him. I don't remember much of the battle, but I remember drying the boy's tears after. Yeah, didn't I ask him how he became the Blade of Frontiers? And he named you the Blade of Frontiers? No. But he named me friend. And that meant the world. But what of the others? The children never saved. The cries never heard. In the boy's tears, I finally saw the suffering wrought by the villains of the wild. The Frontiers demanded a blade. And so I heeded. How great could you be? I've never heard of you. <laughs> oh, my days. Uh, let's actually um, address the matter at hand, which is Karlek. So, yet you were chasing a devil in the hells. How did that come about? Karlek's fires raged in Baldur's Gate before she escaped to Avernus, as my source told it. And she was planning to return. One of the archdevil Zariel's own. Chaos incarnate, a devil with pure fire for a heart. I made my way to Avernus to stop her. She fled from my reach, even climbed aboard the Mind Flayer ship as it screeched through the hells. I followed in close pursuit. I can't bear to imagine the lives Karlak might be taking, the damage she might be doing. Hmm. It's not exactly easy to journey to the hells from the Sword Coast. How did you manage it? A powerful friend with a keen interest in... ...privacy. I'm sworn to say no more. Let's move on to other matters. All right. What else is on your mind? Okay. Uh, okay, we can ask you about Raphael. What do you make of Raphael? He brings to mind a story. The Devil with the Silver Tongue. An old fairy tale my father read to me. The kind with a hero, a villain, and a moral. A farmer made a deal with the devil, so the story goes. In exchange for the farmer's dearest fruit, the devil granted him a bottomless coin purse. The farmer's dearest fruit, naturally, was no apple nor peach, but his beloved daughter, we can learn a lot from fairy tales, don't you think? Hmm. Um. With the right teacher, yes. What are your thoughts on the devil, Will? Yeah, I did ask him that to begin with. Refuse him, no matter how tempting the offer. 
No matter how delicious the feast he lays out for you, the cost will be too great. Okay. Don't worry, I have no interest in the devil's deal. That's because you still have hope. But when he becomes your last hope, remember this. He'll require of you only what you're least ready to part with. And then require more still. You might think you'd give up anything for a cure. But the devil won't take just anything. He'll take everything. Okay, uh, I've noticed your stone eye. Did you lose it in the battle? In battle, sorry. A most vicious one, in fact. It's made from pure bloodstone, carved from the Galena Mountains just north of the Moon Sea. A reminder that sometimes blood must be shed and sacrifices must be made. Ah, but that story is reserved for lifetime friends and calmer days. Ooh, okay. Um, is this a roll or not? Lean in and examine the eye more closely. Tiny grooves spider across the eye's surface. It resembles a sending stone used to confer with distant contacts. Okay, we didn't have to roll for that. Isn't your eye a sending stone? A sending stone? <laughs> Nothing so special, I assure you. His breathing quickens, his <laughs> jaw <laughs> tenses. Will is keeping something from you. A strange sensation courses through you, and your companion's mind unfolds, secrets half revealed. Yeah, we're not going to invade his privacy here. Uh, all right, then, let's change the subject. Gladly. What else is on your mind? Um, I've got no memory of my past. Could the parasite have done that? Seems unusual to me. Then again, we're talking about tadpoles inserted into our brains by rubber-skinned tentacle monsters. There's nothing usual about it. All the more reason to stick close. I think you'll agree. Hmm. I've got this bloodthirst, an urge to destroy, maim, and kill. Anger. I understand. We've been preyed on by elithids. Suffered insertion of a mind-bending worm. Bloodthirst is another matter. But perhaps not too big of one, if it's a devil or demon's flesh you're wanting to tear. Okay, similar answer to Lazel, interestingly enough. Um, so that's, that's actually pretty neat. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so I actually would love to go... I think we're actually quite close to Karlak uh, outside of camp. So I think what we'll do is we will um, have Astarian and Shadowheart stay in camp. We'll have Will join us so that he can have we can have that encounter together with him because since he is the one who's hunting her down and that extra slot will be for hopefully when she joins the party. Um, so let's leave Astarian in camp for now. My dagger happy friend, <laughs> what troubles you? Oh, <laughs> that's pretty cute, actually. Uh, I think it's better you stay here in camp for a while. Oh, darling, I'm hurt. I thought we had something special. Please just stay here. <laughs> God, I'm sorry. So stern. I guess I'll spend my evenings lounging here while you do all the hard work. It sounds awful. Well, you don't seem too upset about it. <laughs> Okay, Shadow Heart. I wasn't expecting it, but I'm glad to have some company on this journey. She seems to be warming up a bit. Um, you know what? I'm going to risk doing option number three here. We should get to know each other a little more. Must we? No harm in a little mystery, don't you think? <laughs> Uh, you know what? Well, I'm gonna back out now. If you're not comfortable, I won't press you. Thank you. Oh, there we go. I'm sure we'll get along perfectly well. Okay, yeah, she's not she's not ready to open up just yet. We gotta let that cook a little bit longer. Um, that being said, we'll leave her in camp for now. We should journey separately for now. I'll look for you here if I need you again. If you're sure. 
I'm sure. Fine. I'll be here whenever you rediscover your taste in company. <laughs> the sass. The sass. All right. So. Oh. Uh, okay. I. Okay. Well. I actually wasn't sure if that would happen. I might have misread the patch notes or something. I think. It's meant to stay. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Um, let's actually activate it for now. There she is watching Shadow Hunt. ornate box. Its many sides are engraved with indecipherable glyphs. Let's try an investigation roll here. If we fail this one, I'm not going to uh, use an inspiration point. I think. Ten with guidance. Ooh, okay, we passed. No openings you can see, yet you sense something inside it. Curious artifact, isn't it? Ancient, beguiling, cryptic. The ABCs of mystery. <laughs> That's a new one for me, I've never heard that line. Uh, let's force it open. box doesn't yield. A box that simply refuses to be toyed with. Happens to the best of us. And let's try to drop it on the ground. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Looks like that box has taken a shine to you. So unconditional, isn't it? The affection of inanimate objects. <laughs> we'll put it away. Okay, uh, we should probably ask Shadowheart about it though. She, uh, I wonder if she has a reaction. I think she does like talk about the artifact leaving her inventory. All's well, I hope, aside from the obvious. Uh, no, she doesn't. Oh. Okay, well, uh, I was wrong. Let's leave camp. Oh no, Will! Uh, let's go back to camp. Um, Will, I need you to join me. We're gonna go meet Carleg now. The Blade of Frontiers at your calling. I'd like you to join me. That's the spirit. He's so keen. Um... I think I'll hold on leveling him up for now because he'll most likely need to be uh, tweaked a bit and I'm not sure if I will use him much yet. Uh, I haven't made my mind up yet so we're just gonna leave that level up on there for now and uh, just do this encounter first and see how we see how things play out. Better that will fit in my pack. Key. Okay. Wonder what it opens. Pick up these herbs here. There we go. There's Karlek. Hello, Karlek. Uh, <laughs> One horn. The stink of Avernus. Advocatus Diaboli. Well, I'll be God's damned. The Blade of Frontiers. Thought I'd shaken you for good. That'll teach me to underestimate you. Ooh. Very aggressive options for the bottom two. Uh, let's go at number one. You're the devil we've been hunting. Karlek, right? Bloody right. An honor to be chased by the Blade of Frontiers. But I... Ugh! A great heat roars through you, her heat, fiery as the hells. Then you're lost in visions of demonic armies as you tear through a landscape of fire and blood, the blood war. You saw it from above as the Nautiloid passed through Avernus. This woman was on the front line. What was that? Evidence. 
proof that you're a devil. A gladiator in the archdevil Zariel's army. I can explain, but it's a whole situation. If you just hear me out... Another vision. Karlak's blade raised, slicing through devils, Zariel's servants, as her eyes dart around, seeking escape. Her rage and desperation seep into you. She is a victim of the Blood War, not an agent of it. She's trying to trick us. Don't believe her lies. You saw the truth. I never wanted to serve Zariel. I was enlisted in her army against my will. Forced to fight, and fight I did. When I saw an opportunity to get away, I took it. Finally home. Or near it, anyway. You served her! That's enough to damn you! Uh... Let's ask him to stand down. Stand down, Will. You saw what I saw. Will catches his breath oh. and his lips straighten. Sheer dread twists his face. You don't know what you're saying. You're asking me to trust a devil. Gods, you're stubborn. Karlek's not a devil and you know it. Oh, here we go. Listen to sense now. I don't want this to end badly for either of us. You know monsters, right? Better than anyone. Look into my eyes. Can't you see I'm not what you think? Shit. You really are no devil, are you? I've... I've been deceived. Oh, thank the gods. Thought I was gonna have to take your head. Her face. <laughs> you would have died in the attempt. But there have been enough threats today. Truce then, eh? Aye. Truce. I'm Karlak. But you already knew that. And you are... I'm Boggs, and you're very, very hot. <laughs> well met, soldier. Nice to meet a friendly around here. It's been tough going so far. I may not be a devil, but I can put the Blade's reputation to work. How would you feel about helping me kill some evil bastards? Little background, if your moral compass needs something to point at. You already know I fought in the Blood War. I was good. Really good. It turns out I've got a knack for killing demons. That made me a valuable asset. Zariel, the archdevil herself, made me as her personal attack dog. I played along until I could get the fuck out of there. But devils don't like to lose their assets. <laughs> Zariel liked it so little. She sent a bunch of goons, so-called paladins of tear, to take me back. Problem is... I'm not going. So you want me to kill the people hunting you? Ooh, let's get all riled up. Let's send them back where they came from. Fuck yes! They cornered me outside the toll house just up the hill. Doubt they've gone far after the scorching I gave them. Then we can work on evicting this parasite and take Faerun by their short hairs. Sound good? She's, uh... Perhaps a little rough around the edges. But I suppose I can be smooth enough for two. <laughs> Gail. <laughs> Sounds like a great plan. I'd hug you if it wouldn't scorch your skin off. Ooh, I'm getting all het up. Let's make tracks. All heads up. I like that. In relation to Waterdeep. From this distance between Elturel and Baldur's Gate, I'd say a long way away. Ah, that will make getting word to my mother rather tricky. No matter. What she doesn't know can't hurt her. Not at this distance, anyway. Oh, bless. All right, Will, what do you have to say for yourself? So, Will. Now that we've made peace, how about we get to know each other properly? What's your story? Not so much a story as a pantomime. And I've played my part all too poorly. Huh. I've... Okay, so I've never done this before. Usually I will, like, three-man it. Or 
foreman it, sorry, with Will. And Car I'll send Carlac to camp. So I've never actually picked Carlac up like this before, and this is new to me. Um, <laughs> this pantomime could have gone badly, Will. It's amazing Carlac didn't gut you where you stood. <laughs> gut him? I'd rather toast him. It could have gone for my throat. The fact that we're both still standing here unscathed means he's a friend. Or something close to it. Thank you, Karlak. But if it brings our ally here any comfort, a reckoning's coming. And I'll be the one to pay up. You make it sound like a harvest of devils coming for you, Will. You're closer than you know. One night soon when we make camp, the veil will be lifted. And I'll face my penance. God damn, dude. Penance, should I be worried? You're not in any danger, I promise. I can't say the same about me. Okay, well, there we go. And we have Karlak. Uh, let's ask her about herself. What's the story? So how did you end up fighting in the Blood War? Ooh, wait, wait, there's so many- Oh, there are so many options for her. Trust me, I'll tell Oops. you all about it after we take care of the goons on my tail. Did I skip something there? No, I didn't. We're good. Um, okay, so she'll tell us later about those paladins you want us to confront. Yeah, let's go straight there. Whatever those fucks are getting up to, it's nothing good. Just to say, by the way, they're not really paladins. Lackeys of the Archdevil playing dress-up as paladins of Tyr. No honour among devils. Hmm, okay. Um... Actually, we'll, we'll go with option one here. In your expert opinion, what's the best way to kill a devil? Depends on the type. Ice devils hate an inferno, but that's an easy one. Orthons love projectiles. What they don't love is getting their bombs lobbed right back in their faces. Demons, on the other hand, every demon is absolutely singular. You can't ever think you've got them typed out. Sharp instincts, sharp weapons, and a knack for improvisation. That's the only way to survive them. <laughs> anyway, what were we talking about? <laughs> I love her, I love her. Karlik is amazing. I really, I really do enjoy her. Um, this isn't where I thought I'd end up. What? How about you? <laughs> Funny you should ask. I was just thinking about what would have become of us without that Nautiloid. I mean, I know where I'd be. Trapped in Avernus still, with the Blade of Frontiers on my tail. But what about you? Hmm. This is all there has ever been. I remember only snippets of red. It'll come back to you. Maybe you'll recognize something we passed, or maybe we'll find out what happened to you. I get the feeling we've got a long road ahead of us. I hope we find you some answers along the way. Hmm. That's very sweet. That is a very, very sweet response. Uh, Alright, let's pick this up. And uh, there is, I believe, a waypoint close by. Not up there. I do not want to uh, actually tackle the paladins just yet, uh, or the fake paladins. Uh, it's, a, it's a pretty tough encounter, so we're going to leave that for later. Um, Something over there. Uh, but for now, I think what we'll do is we'll send Will back to camp. And I'm going to have to decide... Ooh, what did we pick? Brown. Oh, lame. Um, uh, do I want Shadowheart and Karlek or Astarian and Karlek? was a time I tussled with hill giants without breaking a sweat. Now, a mere werebear could swat me halfway to arm. Strange things are happening to us. What festers in our minds may well impel our bodies. Hmm. 
I like how he says a mere werebear. I feel like a werebear is a pretty Bodies serious everywhere. threat. Accident or sabotage? That's over there. I don't see any bodies, but okay. Okay. Nice. Not the best loot, not the worst. Um... You know what? I think I want to actually get this thing out of the way so that I don't have to uh, worry about it anymore. So let's go to camp. And those paladins oh. I need to stomp are that away. Oh, okay. Hey, yeah. Uh. Huh. Okay. Well, let's have Will stay in camp. Does he have any items? He does. Okay. Let's send this to the camp box and we'll send Karlek stuff in as well. Well met. I'd like to I'd like you to wait in the camp for now. Are you sure? The blade stands at the ready. Remain here, I'll come for you if I need to. And just when things were warming up. Don't worry, Will. I'm sure you will enjoy your wine. There you go. Already at it. <laughs> Uh, actually, let's get the opinions of everyone. I think, does Will have an opinion on well, Karlek? No, he doesn't. Okay, so I think we need to actually get him to have his event happen first before he'll comment further, but Gale... A devil and devil hunter standing shoulder to shoulder against a common enemy. Rather poetic, I think. I suppose so. Let's leave that for now, and then... Whoa. Uh, and then we'll talk to Astarian. Uh, I thought we were going to see some real sparks fly between Will and Karlak. <laughs> it's almost a pity things ended so amicably. Seeing those two duke it out would be fun. Such a cheeky bear, Astarian. Um... You know what? We are going to actually get Astarian in here. I need you in my party. Will you travel with us? Darling, I thought you'd never ask. Because we are going to need him for what we are about to do next. Uh, let's talk to Lazel. Karlax got the brawn of a warrior and the wiles of a survivor. Best of all, she speaks her mind plainly and fully. Show her due respect. God damn, instant respect from Lazel, huh? We love to see it. Alright, Shadowheart, what do you have to say about Karlak? Karlak and Will seem to have put their differences aside. I thought it was going to come to blows for a moment. Mm hmm. I think we all did. Alright, cool. So we'll have Karlak with us. Uh, and since Soldier. we will. Taste, taste. Taste, taste. We will uh, we'll actually get her to go to Withers to tweak her spec a little bit. Ah, another. Thy name has been recorded. I shall be here in thy camp for whenever thou hast need of my services. Let's switch class here. Five. Oh, she gets all the initial dialogue options. Okay. As thou desire. All right, so let's look at what we're working with here. We'll keep her as a barbarian. Aha. Uh -huh. So I, I think we're going to have a very similar setup with Astarian here. Uh, we will put it into Dex and one into Con. Yeah. I believe these are the same stats as Astarian's. Uh, oh, no, actually, sorry. It's switched between Strength and Dex, but that makes sense. And I am totally fine with those uh, skills. We'll confirm this. Yep, and then we can level her up. Oh, and we could actually give her the um, the sword we got from the uh, tutorial from the Nautiloid. Uh, what's this? Danger sense. You sense when things aren't as they should be. You have advantage on dexterity saving throws against trap spells and surfaces. To gain this benefit, you can't be blinded or incapacitated. Okay, cool. Uh, let's go with that. Oh yes, we are level 3. Uh, we'll go with the Berserker subclass, actually. 
because uh, we'll have Enraged Throw and Frenzied Strike. Uh, and that will be really, really good to have as we keep going along. Right, okay, so we are... Let me fix her hotbar here. Let's kind of do that. The throw. She can actually use the improvised melee weapon. Um, Sop this here. Shove, jump, all that stuff. This is ranged. That's melee. Um, okay, we'll put her hand trip here and her racial as well. And I'm going to swap this with that. That's looking good. Uh, let's get her geared up. This is, this is another reason why I have my like camp organization, like camp supply stuff. Uh, because if I do swap out party members, they kind of it's like a little station that they can go to, to um, you know, get gear and stuff. And I, I really, really dig that. Okay, we have a good amount of um, camp supply sacks as well to organize our food, which we will do before long rest. Um, we'll put that there for now. And let's look at our weapons. Can she wield this? She can. Okay, brilliant. So, we're gonna have her do that instead because that is, yeah, that's far superior. And, ooh, do we have an extra pouch for her? I'll give her mine. And she can hold on to that. Let's give this to Astarian here. We'll give her the Alchemist Fire as well because she's, she's gonna be throwing a lot. I think, at least from what I want her to do. And we'll give her, we'll start piling on some daggers and some spears for her, um, just so she can, she can eat them. Uh, gold ingot, no, okay, I think we're good for now. And, ooh. Okay. I might need to, Leave Gale in camp and swap for Shadow Heart. Can I actually check spell slots here? I can't. Okay, you know what? We'll just um Yeah, I might actually have to. Oh you know what? Actually Carlac can stay in camp for now and I'll swap her for Shadow Heart. Not on my mind. Carlac, wait. What's well. the story? Uh you'll need to stay behind in camp for now. Oh come on. You don't mean that. I do actually. You heard me. Oh, fine. I'll be <laughs> Sorry, here eating Carlec. dirt or whatever. <laughs> Sorry, Carlec. We just need to do oh, something real quick something. and then we will come get you. I wasn't expecting it, but I'm glad to have some company on this journey. Uh, join me. All right. Some company wouldn't hurt on the road, especially if there's trouble. All right. Uh, okay, we need to get this thing sorted, which means we will go to the Emerald Grove. And wait, Shadowheart, do you have... Ah, oh, you do not have a level 2 spell slot. Is this a level 2 spell? It is. Um, have we got any pots for her? Perfect. Okay, so Shadowheart, you are going to drink this potion. We will need you to cast silence. At least things have stayed interesting. Swift as my fate can and carry me. A very important thing that we need to do actually is this. Okay, so we have that on everyone. Road has to Baldur's Gate is a long one. On. Oh. Who knows how long it'll take these folks to get there on foot? If they make it, they're slow, vulnerable. Half or more will die long before Basilisk Gate. Doesn't seem to trouble you a jot. What good would it do for me to be troubled? We can't save them all. God damn, Shadowheart. All right. Um, let us do this thing. So, hopefully, I don't mess this up because if I do, well, I do. Uh, we can't reload <laughs> to undo it if I mess it up, but. Let's hope for the best here. 
So what we are going to do here is because... And hopefully this long rest will be the correct one because... Um, I don't actually want to do this again because it's quite tricky to pull off, at least for me. I'm sure there are others who might have an easier time doing this, but I... I at least I found it very difficult to, to do. Um, so we're going to basically knock out Alfira so that she doesn't show up in camp when we long rest. Um, because if she does show up in camp as the Dark Urge, uh, she will not survive, so... Yeah, we don't want that. So we're gonna actually start Very well. positioning ourselves here. Keep your distance, guys. Now Astarian is going to be right behind her. We're gonna use Astarian to sneak attack and hopefully get some big damage in. Um, oh, do I have that potion actually for him? Um, Hill Giant Strength. Mm, didn't we have this? Colossus. Drink to increase your size. Weapons deal an additional 1d4 damage. You gain advantage on strength checks and saves. Replaces effects with it. Um, okay. Since we're going to melee attack, I might actually have Astarian drink uh, an additional 1d4 damage. Yeah, this might be something that would be good for him here because... You can get an extra bit in, Let's and get then on with it. Shadow Heart's actually going to stand here, Just keep going. so that any opportunity attacks will kick off. Let's make sure everyone is on their melee weapon. Let's get going. I'm actually going to stand right here as well, so that I can get an opportunity attack off. So, um. We're going to cast silence so that no one can hear us commit this crime. And I'm going to hit turn base mode as fast as I can there before she runs off. Um, and Astarian's going to do a backstab, yeah? Let's hope we can pull this off. I'm going to actually cast silence more towards this end in case she tries to run away. Okay, so it's shift space, shift space, don't mess it up. Here goes. Your actions are pushing tempers to the limit. Persist and things may get out of hand. Okay, okay. We still have the advantage here. Let me make sure that non-lethal is on. Right. Alfira, sorry. I forgot to give him the potion, but it's fine. He did an insane amount of damage. Um, Non-lethal is on. Let's go. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Now. Now. I'm going to do something that... Ideally, I would exit and go to camp. But I don't want our main what I call the main campsite to be <laughs> drenched in blood so I'm actually going to exit here Over. hopefully Thanks. no one's heard us okay so she's knocked out she's not dead and we are going to run into the cave nearby <laughs> uh, so that we may um, have a different campsite for where this event will take place uh, again. I just, I just don't, I don't want to have any trace of it in the uh, in the main campsite here. So we're going to, uh, we're gonna go. I think, I think this room alone will be enough for us to have a different campsite environment. So we're gonna do that. I realize now that the last time I tried to do this, I actually had discovered the Zenta Room outpost, and I could just fast travel into that to get the different campsite, but. Uh, We'll see if this works. Uh, go to camp. Okay, perfect. So cheeky behavior, successful. Uh, <laughs> I, I, okay, so I'm glad that we managed to pull that off. 
because um, now Alfira does not have to die. Hopefully, anyway, I hope the uh, I hope the event triggers for this uh, long rest. So before we long rest, bear with me. Let us organize our um, traveler's chest. Oh, no, I hate this. You see, you see this bug. Okay, so uh, let's organize the crash. It's not a bug. Sorry, this uh, this fail safe of having double chests in camp is a. Uh, it gets to me. It gets to me. So, um, let's do this. I think we will. Let's use a. Let's use this gilded chest for now to kind of store, like throwables and or projectiles. I guess we'll call them. So arrows and things we'll put in there, and. Um, since we don't have the particular icon that I want for the dyes, I will just store this in the uh, clothing chest for now. And I think we're good. Okay, let's very quickly do this organization since we have enough. We have all the packs that we need to kind of separate things out into the categories I want. Oh no, don't do that. Okay, well, you know, that's fine. Um, open here, open here. I think five packs are actually what I'm looking for. Let's go by type. Okay, so I've undone all the cooked food or like processed food one. We're gonna put this in the processed food pack or processed slash cooked. And then we'll have Oh, this is also going to go in here. We'll have one for like things that we can forage, like a vegetarian pack almost. <laughs> this is for the alcohol. And then we'll have the meats pack. Okay, perfect. So those are the five packs that I like to, uh, I like, I'd like to have for our camp supplies and then we're going to separate it out the reason why I do that is because when we uh, when we select when we use the auto select function if the auto select has picked uh, too many supplies and, and whatnot even if we don't use the auto select function um, just having them spread out like this first of all I don't know about you, but for me, it's very, very satisfying. Uh, but second of all, it's um, it it makes it easier to control just how many camp supplies we'll be using per long rest. Um, so I just personally, I like to have it laid out like this. Uh, it doesn't look like anything nice now, but just if you bear with me and we get to the end of this, especially this box, you'll see it. But once we get to the end of this bit here, um, it will I'll do, it'll start to look really the satisfaction at least for me is uh, is real um, so don't mind me I am also messing up this drag and drop here let's we'll try I'll try to get through this as quickly as I can uh, also I mean feel free to leave in the comments if you enjoy watching this or not because uh, I'm happy to do this off, off screen if it's. Uh, I'll probably timestamp the video, uh, but I'm I'm also very happy to just kind of do this off off uh, off screen. I just, for me, when I'm recording gameplay, I do like to if I'm if it's something that I'm going to share anyway, like in, like with this video and this uh, this campaign playthrough. Oh, I have to put that in there. Um, I like to record the gameplay completely uh, and not do anything like kind of off screen there we go look at that why is this apple not here this is a special apple red apple it can heal us oh you know what there we go so this pantry chest that i picked up uh, i mentioned that i like picking up this pantry chest because i have not i've yet found uh, or at least because I picked this one up, I don't feel the need to pick any more up. But I think that this is a pretty rare uh, one. And I put special food types in here uh, so that I don't actually select them when we do a long rest because uh, it's separated out into a different chest. Um, 
But yeah, uh, oh, we should take this. What is this doing here? All right, that is our long rest prep done. Uh, perfect. So we are ready for a long rest now, and hopefully the event that I need to trigger actually takes place. Let's end our day. Uh, yes, sure. Yes! Okay, perfect. Hark! Hark! A camp, and Hogma willing. Some friendly faces. Well met. Goblins roughed me up and stole my hose when they heard me singing Hatchling Love. <laughs> you wouldn't have half a bedroll for a lost minstrel, would you? I can pay for my board with music, if you care for it. Who are you? I mean, I feel like that's a natural question to ask someone just wandering in. Uh, but yeah, who are you? Quill Grootslang. Soon to be published in the songbook Affairs in Ancient Avere Songs of Draconic Love. <laughs> uh, if I make it to Baldur's Gate with my manuscript, that is. She's so sweet. I. This is such a feel-bad moment. Um, it's dangerous out there to be travelling on your own. <sighs> I know. It's not the first time I've been robbed. I am only glad I didn't get hurt. Our hearth is open, and there is safety beside it. Honestly, I would pick number two if I could, but the second half of that is so mean, but yeah. Our hearth is open, and there is safety beside it. I'll just stay one night. Promise. Then I'll be gone. I know I'm ice blood, but I, I get cold so fast. I need to be by the fire. Okay. Um, I, di I don't think anyone actually acknowledges her being here. Also, the placement of Lazel and Shadowheart right across each other is hilarious. Um, I don't think anyone actually acknowledges her coming to camp. I need a moment for the two of us. Go ahead. I'm listening. Yeah, no one actually does, uh, which is a shame. Not that I'm complaining. There's plenty of, there's just so much writing already done for this game and, and all that. So, um, but yeah, let's uh, let's let's get to know Quill. This pantsless. Well, she did say I think hose is another word for trousers, right, or bottoms. And unfortunately, they were stolen by goblins. So, Quill. Thanks for the fire. Um, why were you traveling on the road in the middle of the night? I've been given a great chance. My song score, Affairs in Ancient Avere Songs of Draconic Love, is due to be published in the gate. I'm in a big, big rush, though. I fear that if I don't get there in the next few days, they're going to print some kobold bone flute instrumentals instead. Oh, my. Uh, what kind of music do you write? I prepared a dense manuscript of new love chants to be throat sung in Timantha style. You probably don't know, but the Dragonborn clans arrange their children's marital unions. Love is considered irrelevant to egg duty. But I've never even been kissed, and I can't stop myself from dreaming. I don't think most of us stop hoping, ever. Really. Not even when duty stamps us down. And that's what the songbook's about. Lost, lingering love. Never acted on. Never spoken. She is painfully innocent. Ah, I don't know if she is, actually. I, don't, I think that's a pretty harsh judgment to make, but we're going to ask her. Uh, so you ran away from home? My clan name has been struck. I named myself anew after a long dead poet. That inhale. <laughs> um, how do you write love songs if you've never found love yourself? Is there someone who you think you might love? Oh, come on. I won't tell. 
Oh, okay, so here we are. Let's let's actually see what all the options are. Uh my head is on my shoulders, not in the clouds. That's a pretty pretty mean uh She's just trying to be nice. Uh, Carla seems like she has so much love to give if she found the right person. That's actually true. Will is such a gentleman. I imagine he'd make an even better partner. Will is a gentleman. Uh, I'll never meet another like Lazelle. That's for sure. That is for sure. Shadowheart is pure grace. Yep. <laughs> Come on. You do Gale dirty like that. Mock me as you will, but I have a thing for Gale. Um, and then we have Astarian. Might be the most perfect being to ever walk the day. Damn, man, you really gotta do Gil dirty like that. But, of course, we are going to go for this one. Mock me as you will, but I have a thing for Gail. And have you said so? Do they know even one little bit of how you really feel? At this point in the adventure, uh, it's too soon for that. There's a special feeling to having love all to yourself. Don't you think? For no one to know. <laughs> I grew up smiling about my little secrets to myself. I would have been laughed at if I admitted to anyone how I felt. It is not our kind's way. But I have my whole life ahead of me. Things will be different now I'm on the Sword Coast. I can't wait for what is coming next. Hmm. I do like the uh, the Dragonborn lore that she's kind of feeding us here because I personally don't know that much about Dragonborn so that's really interesting to learn about. Uh, are you any good in a fight? <laughs> it's a miracle I'm still alive. Yeah, probably is. Uh, will you sing a draconic song for me? Oh my! Are you sure? Are you really sure? You did say you wanted to pay for the board with music, so... Yeah, what's the worst that could happen? Spoken like someone who's never heard a dragonborn throat song. This one, Sky Swain, is about what it might feel like to mate in the air, in the age where wings were yet with us. <laughs> <laughs> so I have seen this scene before, but <laughs> oh, it's actually so good. Um, <laughs> ah, the true language of love. <laughs> Run away. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go at number one here. Ah, uh, the true language of love. Uh, oh no, number two is really good as well. That's quite enough culture for one evening. <laughs> I think we're gonna go at number one. Oh. Oh. There are 69 more verses. I'm only just beginning. Of course, the number has to be 69. <laughs> Oh my days! Oh, that is such a great scene. Does she have any more dialogue? Thanks for the fire. Oh, it's just a, it's just a repeat. I will not be doing an encore here. Um, it's just a repeat of everything. All right. Uh, right. That's a bug, actually. Uh, I think that that sound that we're oh my the camera, the sound that we're hearing is because Shadowheart drank. Uh, the potion earlier, this, the arcane cultivation, and I think it keeps like, you'll see, I o I'll open inventory, yeah, and it keeps like looping every time we're going in and out of the scene. Anyway, let's, uh, let's go to bed. Thank you, Quill, for the entertainment. Uh, perfect, and you see, this is why we separate all of the camp supplies. Alright, full rest. You open your eyes with a lurch, and you are not in your bed. You stand above a body which is in a state of gore nearly beyond recognition. The body of that scared girl who asked for nothing more than a night of shelter. 
Her blood covers you, and its warmth feels like the embrace of an old friend. You recall nothing of how you ended up here, but your head pounds and aches. That it is. <laughs> that it is. Oh boy. Okay. It's it for me personally. It feels. It still feels just as bad. Um, maybe slightly less worse than Alfira because we do get more of Alfira later on in the game, and if I'm not mistaken, Quill. Uh, she's only kind of made for this, like it's a backup for Elfira, for a bard to show up in your camp. So, um, yeah, but it still feels like shit though. So, um, let's see. Let's try some roles here. I think I can get guidance. So, um, try hard to remember something, anything. I can't get guidance. Okay, well, that's nice. Let's see. A flat roll of 12. Nice. Okay. I'll continue there. A single moment comes to you. The flash of abject terror in her eyes. Blood spilling from her lips. No time for last words. Fucking hell, that was intense. Okay. Um, investigate your surroundings, looking for an explanation. Okay, this is an easier one, but let's see. There are dozens and dozens of wounds on the corpse. The killer did not stop savaging it, even when she was long gone. And your dominant arm aches. It aches from stabbing over and over. No matter how it appears, the body is there, and her blood is on your hands. The question flows through your mind. Who are you, really? That you could be guilty of such bitter business. Well, uh, I don't know what happened just then, but the camera is waking out, I think. Um, okay, we are resisting the urge here. Uh, let's do number five. Connect to your parasite. Is it responsible? The little worm seems silent. Your companions sleep blissfully tonight. If it were the rage of a tadpole, no others seem to be affected. You don't have much time for reflection now. You need to act. You may only have a few moments before the others awaken and begin to cast blame for the hot sin before you. Hmm. Okay. So, we can own up to this, or... We can... Hmm. <laughs> Prepare to face the others. Can't we blame Astarian for this uh, act? I believe they added that in patch four. I'm I'm actually it's gonna be so cheeky, but I'm actually keen to try. So uh, let's seek out the nearest water to wash the blood away. You scrub yourself until your hands are cold and raw. While your body starts to feel clean, the blood doesn't oh, no. seem to leave. Ooh. Okay. Examine the blood more closely. Is it magical? Uh, it's an intelligence roll. Let's see. This is new for me. A ten. All right, fingers crossed. Nice. Okay, what's this? There is no magic binding this blood to your body. Only guilt. You shake your head, and it seems to go away. Only then. Huh. If you are fortunate, no soul will be able to know you were behind this murder. You wonder if your misdeed will be noticed. But the blood's still there. Okay, that was cool. That was, that was something new. Never had that before. By the gods themselves, what kind of nightmare is this? I'm going to say something I'm confident we're all thinking. Um, what's this you're doing? <laughs> okay, I. 
Oh, Scratch is here. Look at him. He's in the back. Um, okay. I'm. I think. I think I'm gonna straight up own up to it. But do I want to do a deception here? It's such a terrible lie, or it's such a it's such a crappy lie. That's the thing. It's not a great. It's not a very good line. Um, let's go with. I think I must have killed her. You know what? Let's just own up to it. I'll just own up to it. We'll own up to it. Yes, I murdered her. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, you think oh, no. you killed her? You will need to do a lot better than that. <laughs> oh no! Astarius! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Okay. Well, I was... I was saying how hard it is to get his approval. I guess I found a way to do it now. Um, and hopefully I didn't lose too many points with the others. Uh... Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to actually go with option three here. I can't remember. I don't know why I did it. This is not beyond the remit of what the parasite might command. The worm in your head has never slept more peacefully. You know in your heart it was something deeper, hungrier. I'm gonna just remain silent. It could have been the tadpole. I mean, you know, I'm going to remain silent here. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, you know what? I'm going to go with option two. I don't know. It could have been the tadpole. If the parasite is truly to blame, we must be more vigilant than ever and hope this affliction spreads no further. I'm keeping my eye on you. He's so mad. An uneasy feeling lingers in the air as the Inquisition departs. You are left alone with a familiar headache. Oh God! Oh, he's so upset with me. I mean, everyone is really, except except Astarian. Um, breathe deeply. You must uncover the cause of your mad spree, lest it happen again. Yeah, we'll do that. Much is uncertain, but you know one thing for sure. The darkness will strike again, unless you find a light. Okay, there we go. We've, uh, Quill, I am so sorry. All you needed was a safe place to stay for the night, and, uh, you got the furthest thing out from that. Uh, good news though, Scratch is here! <laughs> Let's actually... Actually, let's um, switch environments. Let me let me quickly check if there are any dialogue um, items related to this. Well met. Excuse me. Okay, there aren't. And let me quickly check my approval rating here. Okay, we're actually good. Um, and let's see if as he approved of it. So let's see if there's anything to say. But I do want to switch out camp environments. Um, as we kind of go around and... Yes? Nope. He, oh, okay. He has nothing to say. Uh, actually, no. Let's, let's just... Uh, let's just talk to Scratch here. Let's drink one of these. And we'll say hi to Scratch, who found his way here. Best boy. Hope you're keeping well, friend. I'm sorry about what happened to your master. Master? Friend, I stayed with him until... until I knew he was gone. I'll never forget him, but I'm glad to have met you. Oh, bless. Let's pet him. Okay, we got it back at least. The approval. <laughs> Scratch, you saved our approval points. That's why you're the best boy. I mean, you're the best boy for many reasons, but... Oh. Uh, well, if I can pet him again, I will. Um, oh, bless. Okay, so I, I guess that evened it out, hopefully. Um, from my <laughs> murderous spree. So let's, uh, yeah, let's 
Okay, that's good. That's fine. We can accept that. Um, let's see. Where can we go? We'll go to the... Ooh, we have to swap out. Let's swap out Astarian here because I feel... Oh no, Carla needs to speak. Uh, we'll swap out Astarian for Carla here because I think they kind of do the same thing in combat anyway, so... Hey, we're still going after those paladins, right? Can't leave Zariel's bruisers roaming the coast. Yes, yes, yeah, don't worry. Right, don't worry, we'll go after them. Yeah. Good news. Can't wait to see him finished. Okay, sweet. Um, yeah, let's get a star in to stay in well, camp. Hello. What can I do for you? Mm -hmm. I think it's better you stay in camp for a while. Uh, darling, I'm hurt. I thought we had something special. Please just stay here. I guess I'll spend my evenings lounging here while you do all the hard work. It sounds awful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't seem that upset. Again, okay. uh, Karlak, you can join us. Yeah. Oh. She's not happy with us. Come on, we're heading out. Let's go, go, go. Not heard her react like that before when speaking to her. But damn, that was a little bit scary and a little bit spicy all at the same time. Uh, right, let us head to the Risen Road. And we will... Uh, okay, that is definitely some sort of bug where the... Uh, the shiny effect is being retained there because we have definitely dug that up already. Uh, let's get our... Actually, let me check. Oh, okay. You know what? Uh, I think we will leave it there. It's a pretty good... We had a pretty good spot to, to call this episode. We'll wrap up this episode here. Um, yeah, no. I think actually we got quite a bit done uh, this time around. We we managed to recruit Karlak. We've got a little bit more information about Will. We've uh, caught up. I think we've almost pretty much caught up like in terms of introductory level conversations with all the companions. So that's nice. Actually, let me head to camp here. Um, yeah, no, I think that's a, actually a good spot to call it. Um, but yeah, we picked up Karlak. I think... Yes, those are all the companions that we can have now at this point. So we are, we're good on that front. We've conversed with everyone. We've got Scratch as well, of course. How could I forget? Um, we've saved Alfira, essentially, which is uh, arguably the highlight of this episode. Um, and, and, and of course, it's very, very sad for Quill. Oh, wait. Let's see. Here, with us. Thy wheel of fate turns ever to the dark. Dost thou require a new ally? Or mayhaps a resurrection instead? Resurrect Quill. I didn't mean to kill Quill. Please bring her back. The bard's death is a weight for thine own conscience to bear. She will be left to the peace of eternity, where the urge shall seek her no more. Hmm. All right. Thank you, Withers. Uh, oh, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Get over it. Spill more blood. Oh, don't look so scandalized. This is definitely not the first time you've done this. Quill may have grown up to become the age's great songstress, but you, you can be the most prolific killer in the history of all the realms. It will be easy. You can do it in your sleep. <laughs> Clearly I can. Um, but yes, that is... Uh, <laughs> I'm, I am happy that we did kind of uh, get that out of the way so I don't have to worry, for now anyway, about um, the dark urge for a little while. Uh, but yeah... That is episode three. We're going to call it there for this session. Uh, once more, thank you so much. If you're here listening to this, if you've been watching this whole time, 
Uh, I really, really appreciate it. I hope that you've enjoyed today's episode as much as I have enjoyed um, all the shenanigans that we get up to in Faerun. Uh, next episode, hopefully, will be coming up soon. So keep your eyes peeled. And if you want to, you know the drill. If you want to um, stay posted, keep posted. I don't know how what the phrase is. Um, stay posted, I think. If you want to stay up to date uh, on, on the next episode, uh, feel free to subscribe. And of course, if you have any comments or any questions, feel free to leave a comment as well. Uh, and... Uh, if you so fancy, you may push the like button if you wish, but there's no pressure to do that. Uh, I, I'm just very grateful. Um, if you have a good time, if you enjoy yourself on these uh, on this Let's Play series. So we will continue in episode 4. Most likely we will uh, try to um, pursue Kalex's quest and we'll probably try to unlock more areas on the map. Uh, all that good stuff. But yeah, for now, that is the end of episode 3. I will see you in the next one. Take care, be good, and uh, and don't forget to brush your teeth. All right. Uh, yeah, that's it. We'll leave it there for now. Have a good one, everyone. Thank you again. Bye bye. <laughs>